Hey everybody, this is T.S. Madison, and if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one, -on -one exclusive content, behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there. Me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton, and you'll be glad you did. I promise. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't right gonna there. have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. Hey. It's morning, and we slept the night away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> the best part of waking up is a little Maddie in your cup. Good morning, everybody. I'm finna be real controversial this morning. Mr. Cole leaving me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is the Maddie in the Morning Show. And the views and opinion expressed on this program are mine. But the TS makes some motherfucking noise, too. This show is a comedic safe space to talk about the things from the night before. Tell me R. Kelly down there to the people telling the people that he gonna tell on everybody. They need to put R. Kelly out there in the Squid Games. Run, You have been a detriment to your community. You know, gay folks work for me, man. That is disgusting. Light gossip, but heavy thinking throughout the day. The crates. You colored people is dumb. E.T. for norm. I don't care whatever happens to Candace. Bless her heart. The premise of this show is to be an unfiltered, unadulterated, opinionated show from the perspective of Miss T.S. Madison. We don't all got to get the fuck along because I don't get along with you with a lot of you black motherfuckers. Because you black motherfuckers don't get along with my black ass, bitch. So respect my gangster right now. The show is filled with regular folks, celebrity guests, and your round away girls, honey. Stop pushing your children away because of their gender or their sexual preferences. I what? just want to know where you found this wig at. Don't you do this to me. We're both sitting up here looking like women with shortcuts, so don't you ever <laughs> cut this whole off. We also have Mo, the engineer, who gives the straight perspective. News time. What the H-E-L-L? This is an LBGTQ show that's curated and created by us for you. I do understand as black people that we have a, a high rate of things that we need to worry about. We're not going to disrespect I'll, I'll her, but we're going to read her. I don't want no the government telling me what I can't do to my own body. Right. We are all God's creation, but we are not all his children. See, the problem is you hoes have issues and problems with us coming from the shadows. As long as we're in the shadows, y'all are right. We are millionaires, bitch. We are artists. We are contributors to the situation. The views and opinions expressed on this program is just that. Views and opinions. Don't take any of it serious. But I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. It's morning. It's Maddie in the morning, 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 Maddie in the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Wait, honey, it's nine o'clock somewhere. Get in here and watch the damn show. Well, make it big where I can see now. I can't see nothing if it ain't big. I tell y'all men this all the time. Nobody, no man don't want, I can't see nothing if it ain't big. Make it big. That's not what you said last show, though. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> it was big then. It's a new show. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, I, w- I have a personal question that I'd like to ask you. Yes. Do you like working here? You said, do I like working here? Yeah. Do you like working here? Yeah. Do I offend you or do I terrorize you? Do You do, you do terrorize me. Okay, I do terrorize you. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit up here and act like that I don't. I'm not even gonna come with my innocent that I don't terrorize you because I do. Hey y'all. Is it on, honey? Is it on? Is this thing recording? Ooh, Miss Mary. Oh, I thought you I thought you No, I wasn't uh, gonna vomit. <laughs> What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Scruff, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my Christian mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always, and forever in color uh, from the Maddie and the whatever time of day we get up and call it morning <laughs> fucking show. show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go ahead and get some of these things out of the way so that we can get our show started. Um, this show is sponsored by, of course, my perfume, the Everything Perfume yep. that you can currently write. Put it on my face, Mo, please. Thanks. I got you. Oh, see? See how you get in? <laughs> no, you're becoming the perfect man. You're the perfect man for me. I love you, I do. Ooh, I love you. Now, which one is for? Is this one? Because I know the homosexual (laughs) sent me one. Yes. Yes. This is this one that's for the perfume. Yeah. Now I need you in the description to put in the description. Uh, No, no, no more. I'll do it because. Well, no, in the description already is already in the description. What does it say? It says frame two. Oh, oh, you're talking about rename it. You want me to rename it? Oh. Rename it. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, my fault. fault. (laughs) Claim (laughs) it. Claim it. It's your. No, don't put frame two. No, no, no. I'm going to delete it. Don't All worry. Right. Don't worry. I just want you to get it right, Mom. Don't you worry. You know you've been the parasites that you've been eating all that that uh goat meat. Don't do that. Do not do that. Now, I want you guys to scan that at checkout. I need for you to use Maddie twenty. That's M A D D I E twenty. You still want me to leave it there? You know, that's how I like it. Okay. On my bail. <laughs> Maddie 20, so that you can get 20% off of your purchase of everything. Because we still got that, because we're getting ready to come out with some new shit. So, just, we just, you know, that's why we're running the sale right now. Um, Basically. <laughs> Maddie. Huh? That has nothing to do with your perfume. Who told you that? <laughs> How does, yeah. it, how does it have anything to do with you? How does this, that's on the screen right now, mm-hmm. have anything to do with your perfume? Mo, listen. You done smell that. <laughs> you done smell that perfume. <laughs> it makes you want to get it up. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you want to get it up. And for those people out there that have already gotten the perfume, uh-huh. they, have get, they have been at up. <laughs> <laughs> I know they have, because they've been writing me telling me how good they done been at up. <laughs> we got new mic. <clears throat> you, you ready for me to be messy? Okay, you ain't got to tell. You got you to just go. <laughs> I'm so excited for the new mics, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we got new mics, y'all. Can y'all hear us real good? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can y'all, Durant, you say you eating yourself up. Ain't it good, though? <laughs> Mm. Oof. So, I went to go see Doom this week. Mm. Part two. Me Doom? And, yeah, me and G went to go see Doom part two. Um, um, I don't know if you guys are like really uh, into the whole Doom series or whatever. And uh, I don't know if you are, if y'all are deeply into it or deeply invested into it, the way me and G are deeply invested into it. But we were so excited, we went to go see it. We went to go see it immediately, you know. Um, and what do you guys think of it? Those people that are into it, what do you think about it? Have y'all did y'all enjoy it? I, I really, honestly, in two hours, I'm like, girl, 
Now y'all can come forth and and stop dragging this book out long like this. <laughs> I think it's like five books. It's like it's like five books. Uh, I'm not sure how many books it's y'all. It's like five books. I think it is like Doom books. I, I do like the. Now I'm not gonna sit up here in front like I don't like the cheesy version, like the cheesy '80s version of it. Like I liked it. I like that. Like Paul Atreides. You know that's where I get that saying. And how could this be? But she is the quiz. I tell her that. Boom. <laughs> oh, they said it's six books. It's six books. Yeah, they said it's six books. Kind of like the Tolkien, the Tolkien books, Lord of the Rings. Yes. Um, I like the one from the eighties. Uh, this one from now is a bit more. I don't want to without with, with me with me saying it without me saying it. There was. Uh, an area of the uh, <laughs> of the movie what? that I felt was demonic. What happened? I, I just there was a part that I thought was very dark and demonic. I was like, "Oh, this is real demonic." <laughs> and I was I leaned back in my chair and I I hit G on the side. I was like, "G, I this is demonic." And I thought the cinematography was great. Part two. I thought the cinematography was great, but I did find some like very demonic undertones in it that I was just like, girl, this is demonic. Oh, really? I was like, this is very demonic right did this Did Miss Mary go? No, I would not take Miss Mary. Let <laughs> 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 me tell you something, Miss Mary don't get into the things. <laughs> Because no Tyler Perry didn't direct it. Tyler Perry, you know what? Don't do this. Now you know Tyler Perry could not could not direct no Doom. <laughs> he ain't got. He can't do that now. <laughs> now he can direct some shit, but he can't direct no Doom. <laughs> um. We were watching the craft. Miss Mary don't get into any of that. Y'all who follow me, y'all who know me, who are the Maddie Mom and not the Pen Pals, <laughs> know that Miss Mary gets into does not be involved with none of the shit. You're right. You 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 get to start hear us, hear us, hear us. I can start chanting stuff. Miss Mary's like uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> but Miss Mary was with us when we watched that movie. On Netflix, what was the name of it? Uh, the one when when she go to Mexico and she gets possessed. Miss Mary didn't like that. <laughs> when we was in Miami, uh huh. Miss Mary didn't like that ball. <laughs> Miss Mary did. She didn't like it. She didn't. She. she it was. It was. It wasn't required. nor desire. <laughs> That's a two one fool reference. Here on Fag Talk <laughs> and Maddie in the morning. <clears throat> We are older queens and Mo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna use a lot of references, uh, a lot of pop culture references from the time of us being younger and Mo not that young. <laughs> um, and so you know, there's a few things like when when I be when I when I go forth and I start doing little crazy shit or whatever or or good things or great things start happening to me and I start but and how could this be? For she is the quiz. I had her at boom, you know, <laughs> shit like that. You know, I'm gonna start doing that. You know, well, I'm not start but continue to do yeah, that. Yeah, because you've always done. That. Always done it. But Mo, I asked you. I started to show up because I asked you uh-huh. how. Um, How's your how how has been your full experience? And you can be transparent with within reason of, <laughs> of being here. Do you feel seen and heard here at this at Maddie in the morning? Yeah. Or Fag Talk? Yeah. I mean, you guys ask, especially the times when you guys ask for my opinion. Yeah, I, and not and not only that, sometimes you don't even ask. You know, you allow me to just insert my opinion or. Well, we what like it to be inserted opinions because they come in swift and <laughs> direct. <laughs> because I've been reading some comments 
and they said that we cut you off a lot and we don't allow you to really speak and then we sell this as a as a as a perspective of having a straight perspective and two old fags and a in an old straight so <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm asking you right here, right now. No, no, because we, I, I, I think you got because I do believe you do listen to you. You guys listen to what I say. Uh, I don't think, um, I get what? What's the word? I get cut off, as they say. You get silenced. Yeah, silence. Thank you. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't. I don't believe I get silenced. Sometimes when I don't talk. It's just because most likely I don't have anything to say on that topic. Or, and it's no, it's, there's no point of me talking on something that I have no, uh, I have no experience or I have no uh, merit in that fight. So there's no point of me talking. So sometimes I'm, I'm just there listening. Sometimes it's just better to listen than to just talk without hearing what's going on. And I think that's what a lot of people have. I think that's what a lot of people have issues. I mean, that's what uh, problems that a lot of people have is that they're always ready to talk instead of just sitting down and digesting what's being said. Can you put T's coming up? Yes. This is an interactive show. I wouldn't do this show even when the big thing comes, because the big thing is going to come for me very soon. I wouldn't want to, I would try to find out how can I interact? I need to do it live. So I can interact with my people. T said, to be fair, sometimes Mo needs to learn how to land the plane. He never seems to get the point if y'all don't interject. What do you have to say to that, Mo? Because these are the comments that I see. And I go back and I read. And then I read comments where they say that we've cut you off. Or they say that Craig, when we do the fag talk segment, Craig has, feels some type of way type about you. I've also seen some people write in the comments and say that we don't respect you as a, as a heterosexual man. Um, and you come with a lot of heterosexual perspectives and we don't respect you as that. So here's your, here's the, you have the floor. Okay. Well, the part about, uh, I need to learn how to land the plane. Um, there's some things that you, I, I like to over explain why, because I don't need any, I don't want anybody missed in, Misinterpreting what I'm trying to misinterpreting. say. Misinterpreting. Okay, sorry. Misinterpreting. Can you put it? Because <laughs> misinterpreting. See all the sorry. What misinterpreting what I'm trying to say? I mean, um, we, we all can't have an HSBCU degree. Like <laughs> Craig says, he can you help him run some of this over there? Um, <laughs> I don't. So yes, I do try. So yes, I do try to. Yes, I do try to overexplain some things because I don't want people to misinterpret, misinterpret, misinterpret what I'm trying to say. I forgot that you're from another country. <laughs> Interpret. I like that. Yeah, you know. I, I pre- that's, is that French? <laughs> no, that's just wrong. <laughs> no, we just pronounce words differently. We. I'm, I'm used to. I'm used to. I, I grew up. I grew up. Mother word is misinterpret. I grew. Up, we. I grew up were, uh, spelling and uh, pronouncing certain words, about, pronouncing certain words a different way. In Nigeria, they don't, you don't use American English. You use English. Hold you on, use somebody, English. who took, who took Chi Chi's wrench away? Hey, Cause Chi, this is Chi Chi, don't do, see, hey, go to disruption right What here. happened? Let me go on my YouTube, cause Chi Chi was a, was or is a moderator. I, that must've been either he removed his own wrench this 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 is the acting out of this is how your children act out in, in public. <laughs> this is why you have the parents whoop your kids in public. Hold on, you have to whoop your kids in public because they would do shit like this right in public on you. Where you at, Chi Chi? Where you at? <clears throat> Where you at, ho? Is you on Instagram? Where you at? Are you are you on the phone with Chi Chi? No, I'm. Yeah. I'm. Where you at, Chi Chi? <laughs> you found Chi Chi. I don't see him. Well, he's in the comments right here. Where he in the comments? He said, at? "Look, he's look on the screen." He said, "He said, girl, what?" 
I don't see him here. On, on, I'm, I'm looking down here in the chat. He said, right he says, I'm right here. Right there. But yeah. no, no I'm, I'm actually on YouTube. Oh, no, he, he this is YouTube. Look, Maddie, look on the screen. This is YouTube. But I don't think I can change it from right here. No, I'm talking about in the YouTube chat. They said y'all block. Chichi said y'all block me. <laughs> Girl, give me the phone. Let me just. <laughs> you know how to do it, right, Craig? Right. I just want to say my own personal things. Like this is stuff that I have to deal with, <laughs> and I hate that I have to go forth and I have to start addressing the things. Cause my kids and friends don't know how to. But basically, my kid, what she put? Oh, that was that was what we. Do. Oh, that's what we doing. I hate that I have to address this. Do you see him in the chat? I still don't see him yet. They said he watching on my page or something. Oh, maybe that's why you can't see it. Most likely, that's why you can't see it. <clears throat> Who page is Chichi type? Who chat is Chichi in? He might be on Craig's. Is he in Craig's chat? He that's might... why he ain't got no fucking rich. Cause he in your chat, you ain't got him everything. He's not in my chat. Yeah, they saying he in my. Uh, yeah, he most likely is in yours. Yeah, it says Chi Chi, you're on Craig's YouTube. So. said fire the mod who blocked Chi Chi. No, that he if he's in Craig's chat, of course he don't have a fucking rent. <laughs> if he is in Craig's chat, no, he does not have a wrench because Craig would never make Chi Chi a moderator. <laughs> <laughs> see. He ain't in here no more. I don't see him. There he now he put wrong chat. <laughs> I need to see him respond uh, uh, respond from the right chat, please. Go on my page right now, bitch, and go on now. Trent said he texted her. <clears throat> So is that he's blocked from your page, Maddie? No, he not. Oh, th this is what Chi-Chi's. <clears throat> My bad. That's what he said. See this, is, but you know what happened? What? The people be out there nailing me to the cross. <laughs> This is why I'm giving you your flat, your your flow mo to air your grievances out, so the people can see. <coughs> Cause this whole just came in here, in Craig's chat, <laughs> fucking up my thing, in the wrong shit, and everybody was like, "Well, what, what y'all, what you done did to CC?" Mo, well, continue what you said, and then we finna go over there. I'm getting, okay. off, all, I'm getting off of all my to cut To here. cut everything short is, I, I do believe, you, I believe the both of you do listen to what I have to say, because even when I do talk. What? He's back. Chi Chi's back. Can you please put his. Right here. With his wrench that he got in. Go come on, it's about to be seven o'clock now. Bitch, you the one came late. No, I did not. 
I did not. <laughs> you see, Chi Chi, you got her on one now. <laughs> Wait, hold on. He tried to butter you up now, Chi Chi. I mean, Maddie. But, but murder, this is stuff I go through. <laughs> <laughs> you so pretty chewing. <laughs> this is stuff I go through, right? I go through this type of shit with all because people, and we're gonna talk about this when you come over, baby. Mm -hmm. Just this. What? People want to see people that you're friends with and you're close to. They want to see because I don't think people understand when shit be true. Right. Because they fake ass bitches. They want to slide in, in the inbox. They want to slide to the side. They want to stir up some shit. They want to do some stuff. They, they don't want to see the things. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Libra slash Scorpio, but Libra. I don't talk to my friends every single day. I may not talk to my friends every month. You get what I'm saying? I may not do that because I'm busy. <laughs> Yeah, they're busy. We got we have lives and things that are that are going on. Yeah. And I may not talk to you every single day. Or I may not I may not know. I'm I'm because we're both in this space. So that don't mean I could Craig could leave here tomorrow and, and I and he we may not talk for, which we are because you know we got <coughs> business together. But we not we're not beefing if we're not around each other for two months. <laughs> he has Now y'all might think we are, but huh? He has a life. He has a family. He has like we have separate. We have separate things. So, you know, Chi Chi got a life. Now, I, the only thing that I always ask my kid, and I say that I said it on Instagram earlier, when you got pressure with them, hope because people try to find every little single. That's why that. That's why that shit. That that shit with Oliver caught so much <clears throat> traction. Right, because they ready. People are ready for for uh, for people to be to be out of terms with each other. And that's why I was on it the way I was in those comments. And that's why I was holding him accountable for like, girl, I, I, okay, we understand what you're saying, but it sounds vague in this in these comments right here. And I'm, I, I'm just not for it this week. I don't feel like this shit this week. Like I was, I'm, 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 I don't, I'm moving in my house. I'm, I got other shit going on. I don't feel like that this week. Like, I don't feel like that, that being a headline and all that type of shit this week. Like, girl, like, come on. Right. It, w whatever it is, just go directly on here. So if, 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 if we don't, if, if, if it's a direct issue, a direct problem or a direct situation, directly say this shit to the people. Because I know the way, we, the way we are behind the scenes. Mo, when I feel some type of way about you, which is never often, I tell you up. Or you call me be like, man, we need to talk about this money. I ain't giving you no more motherfucking money. You ain't worth you. Ain't, you ain't. I ain't giving you no more. You ain't giving me forty dollars. We still, we still got to talk. No, about we don't. That. No, we, we still, don't. We definitely and still have to talk about. There's nothing that. that we need to talk about. Well, there's a lot of. I things gave you your money. About. You went over there and paid for your say. You worked there. <laughs> <laughs> paid for your say. Dot com. I gave you your hundred dollars. Your hundred dollar bonus. You put that on pay for your say, and you decided that's where you were going to work. And there you are. And then that's the only raise that you getting from now on out. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and for the people out there that are watching this show, y'all, y'all have y'all opinion. Y'all talk so much. I do say, <clears throat> if you want to make you an extra piece of corn, and you see how Mo have his times in 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 in, in, in area where he don't bring his motherfucking ass to work, it's because he paying for your say. Visit www.payforyoursay.com. Use promo code Maddie One Hundred so that you too can make some extra passive income. Again, Greg, can you back me up with that vocally? <laughs> Visit www.payforyoursay.com and use Maddie 100 so that you too can moonlight on me. <laughs> <laughs> Craig took his homosexual ass all the way down to Paris and filmed the whole Paris series sure on, on paid for your say money in, in sure Paris. Did. Lived in a lived in a lived in an apartment, honey, a complex where he could only whisper because, honey, it was so grand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
All right. So there's a lot of things that we want. I want to talk about in the week. Mo, you done? Are you good? Well, there's one thing I want to say. Okay. Cause see, I see, I had to go back to that. I don't want to. Cause yeah. she, she came and just dis- disrupted right. and disturbed the shit. <laughs> no, I will say this. I never feel like you guys are just cutting me off or anything like that. Um, now I will say this. I will say this one thing, and then I'll be done. I do wish. Get ready, Craig. No, I'll, all I feel is, like this for you. No, it's not. It's not. See, see, that's why they think I don't like him. And, 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 and Mo, while you're adri- while, while you're while you're addressing this, uh-huh. go into whether or not you think I don't like you. No, number one, I do not think Craig does not like me. me Craig is, I'm cool with Craig. Craig is cool with me. We're both, we we have no issues with each other. I know how Craig is. I know Craig's personality, and so I so it, even when it seems like oh he's doing a little, sh- he's just being. Uh, he's just being what? What's the word? Uh, jokingly kidding with me. Whatever. I'm just, I'm mixing up my words, but he's just joking with me. He's not. I mean, this is why we cut him out. But go ahead. No, he's just joking <laughs> with me. He's just joking with me. No, but <laughs> he's just joking with me. It's nothing serious. I never take it serious. The what I was going to say was that I do wish that when people are talking, that everybody is a lot more open. And not just ready to crucify somebody for what they're saying. So you feel crucified? Not by you? y'all. Not by y'all. So you think that the mob crucified? Not you? all of them. Some of y'all. Because I, sometimes I will give you an. Ex, I'll give you a. I'll give you an example or a, or a situation about a certain topic that we're doing, and then you guys don't really. It's like you. They don't. Not everybody really is trying to get what I'm saying. Well, they're just quick to just say, "Nah, it's a lie." Okay, well, and last week, I'm not to cut you off, but to, to add to what you were saying, last week, when, when we were talking, well, the other day when we were talking, and you were talking about the way the black families were disparagingly mm-hmm. separated and stuff like that, mm-hmm. you were talking, you didn't get a chance to get around to it, but you were talking about the welfare system. Right. It clicked in me later on after I did go read the comments when people were saying, well, Mo was trying to talk about the welfare system and, or, and how the man was put out of the home because of the welfare system and because you know they were getting assistance for the government and they and it and it and they had to, the man could not be there because of the, of the welfare, welfare system. Right. But you didn't get a chance to to again and I think that that's what the people out there were saying I about don't, landing, I landing the plane. Right? Right. Okay. And that's and that's where I, that's the part I was just saying is that I wish we were a lot more I wish everybody was a lot more receptive instead of just because I People might say that, people might think that, oh, I'm just like red pill, whatever, or I'm just meant. No, really, I'm not. I'm all about, I'm open to every, I'm open to everything. And I'm not one-sided on anything. That's why I can sit here in this space with you and Craig and not feel some sort of way. Or, and, and be uh, in these discussions with you and not think that what you're saying isn't justified or what you're saying isn't true because I don't know your experiences. So it's good for me to listen and see where you're, where you or Craig are coming from because I don't live your life. And I don't know everything, I don't know everything about what's going on in your life or your experiences in life. So I will sit down and listen. So I just, I just hope that, especially going further, when I'm talking and I'm just trying to give you another expen- uh, experience from another viewpoint. From Africa. That- <laughs> <laughs> that yeah you people just people are open and receptive to it that's it well girl the people that said i'll never get to get to finish my thoughts either because you'd be cutting me off you talking about more me no you <laughs> hold that thought <laughs> ladies and gentlemen get ready for some fact talk <laughs> <laughs> roll the tape mo <laughs> <laughs> The views and opinions expressed on this program is just that. Views and opinions. Don't take any of it serious. But I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. You met me as as me. Yes. Yes. This hair looks delicious on you. Yes. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Yes! Do you have what it takes to be a fag? Oh, honey. You know you do. We all do. 
So we good. We got it. All yeah. right, we good. Right. We was trying to get our stuff together in the back back here, honey. And you know, we, we was having our prep talk, and I needed I need to create Wait, the, prep or pep? Either one. It was it was it's pre exposure. <laughs> now I want you all to be, be clear that there was a disclaimer yes. before the show began. And just in case you missed the disclaimer, Mo, can you run the disclaimer, please? One more again. Just one more time at the top okay. of the show. Because I'm Thanks. not above blocking you. <laughs> The views and opinions expressed on this program is just that. Views and opinions. Don't take any of it serious. But I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. All right, you've been told. <laughs> you've been warned. You've been warned. So let's begin. Let me get a swallow of my cough syrup. <laughs> is that big? So I can really be is it, in, is, in real form it, for them. Is it big? You, oh, see, you see what I did there? You watch how you do that before they get on your ass. Right. And I don't want to disturb them. <laughs> Because they will fuck you up. Right. And I'm concerned about them. All of them. Please. Right. Because they are not the ones that you want to fuck with. I do not. On any given Sunday. At all. Because, ever. Because they run the world. Hey, y'all. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. Good day. Think and start, ladies, progressives and dreamers. Cheers. <laughs> We mm. drinking it warm today, baby. Yes, indeed. Warm, it gets to the guts quick. All right. So I want to talk about this thing that we, because we, there, we, we need to talk about that Jamie Foxx thing that we didn't get a chance last to, week. Right. Last week. So let's come on in with that Jamie Foxx thing, because you sent this over to me, and then it's going to tie into that meat meal but thing. You, yes, but you have to play it on the thing. Oh, all oh, right, right. Because it's. A, I think I put it in your DMs. You on did. Instagram. Okay. Let me, <clears throat> okay. So. All right, so let's go over here to this Jamie Foxx thing here. Make sure you all vote. Make sure you all vote. Craig, what was it so about this Jamie Foxx that had you so twisted up? Let me go find out. They were saying that um, there was a relationship, that he had a boyfriend. Jamie Foxx? 
Mm-hmm. Ooh, girl. Girl, we're going to get on that. <laughs> I, I cannot wait to get to that section of the show. Look, girl, it's so great. So much. I cannot wait to get to that girl, section wait, girl, you of send, the show. Oh, my God. You sent me so much. And it's, a, uh, it's a little higher in the program. Oh, my God, Craig. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. I think that you're... Wait, was that it? Let me see. No. No, that's Jasmine guy. Okay. There that it is. Here that's it. Here we go. Okay. You know, a few months ago, you know, he posted a video of you on his verified Twitter and, you know, he had a wild right. caption with it, man. He said that she was Jamie Foxx's ex. How do you feel about him saying that, man? Yeah, come on, man. Like, first of all, I, I don't know. You know, I don't think me and Suge have, I thought we squashed the, whatever that was. So I'm thinking that's what it is. So, and then I heard earlier, you know, that uh, his his thing was hacked or whatever. His, his Twitter was hacked. So I give it, you know, if Suge wanted to talk to me, he, he know how to, contacting me he contacted me the last time we had an issue an altercation so he figured out how to get to me so i'm sure he would you know i'm sure there's some kind of jail phone in there that kind of re- could you know reach to me i would have never thought in a million years that should would would say that would put something out there like that on somebody being gay like that especially in the time that we living in where it, it's okay i had a i had an uncle that was gay you know what i'm saying it's nothing wrong with it so it, it's like it, really corny yeah, I, yeah, I heard. Like, I, I've never, I've met. Look, I've, I've, I've met Will. Will has always been cool, chill. I heard the, the little assistant dude come on and and say some, some about some, some, you know, anal situation, you know, whatever that anal stuff, whatever that is. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying. I heard what the dude said, but for me, Will Smith ain't never like. He's always been cool, a cool person. I never, I don't, I don't know, I don't know that side. And I know there's always two sides to a story, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know that side. I know there's a back side, but that's not the side I know. Suge Knight, you know, a few months ago, you know, he posted a video of you on it. First of all, let me start out with this. Suge Knight messy. Suge Knight. Men, men gossip more than women. But Suge Knight is very messy. That that sounded like a very messy Suge Knight stunt. Like he a, did a lot of stuttering and stammering, though. He did, but I did. I was reading from the comments. I've never heard of this man before in my life, but they were saying that he does have a speech impediment. But he, girl, he sounded like Mike Tyson. But you know, he was <laughs> in um, what that movie with Jada Pinkett? What was that movie years ago? He, what was that? Um, Don't let the comments pile up, Mark. Uh, what was the movie he played in, y'all? It was the movie with Jada Pinkett. Jada Pinkett was like a single mother, and I think they were dating like lightly or something. What movie was that? I know y'all know. I can see it. Let me plug. Wait, wait. Menace. Straight out. Was something about Menace. Was that it? That's the guy from Menace. Menace to Society. Menace to right. Society. That's the one from Menace to Society. Oh. Uh-oh. Girl, that ass almost took Girl, you. almost toppled you over. Girl, almost took Are you going to just sit there and watch me go over, bro? <laughs> or are you going to tackle him or are you going to help me? Girl, I definitely was going to laugh and then yeah, I was going to see about, to about you later. Thing. You're not no type of friend. I was going to laugh and then see about you later. You're supposed to help me first, not go over, girl. <laughs> 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 You're supposed to help me not go over, girl. <laughs> girl, I got a bad bat. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> so let's get it cracking like a bad bat. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> personally, Craig, I'm mm. so tired of, and I, and you might be with me on this, or okay. you may not be. I'm so tired of everybody using gay as a as a as a pejorative. Yeah. I've learned as that a word slur. from you. Yeah. And it's just, you know, as a slur, I'm tired of people using gay as a slur. Mm-hmm. I'm so tired of it. Like it's 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 gotten old now. Mm-hmm. You gay, you know, you woman. Right. It's like okay. Okay. <laughs> what else you got? What you got? In your bag of tricks. Right, cause cause what I'm finna hit you with, it's finna be deadly. <laughs> cause it was just like I had said, like you know, and I'm gonna uh, because because this is my show. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna use examples of me, and then I'm gonna bring it back to the surface. Like when Jess, when she, when she, when her comeback was, "You're not even my, you're not my sister, you're not even my brother." That's why I was like, "Oh, okay, girl, that's all you got, cause baby, what baby? Cause the way you was finna get towed up this morning, you was gonna have that baby on live TV. Mm. Cause I was coming. Where were you coming from? The bottom. <laughs> I was gonna come from what lies beneath. And where were you going? <laughs> to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I wrote that on my tweet. I was like, oh, that's all she got, oh child. We don't mm-hmm. fuck we don't fuck with each other. This all you got is it. And they wrote, This that bitch wore you out. No, she didn't. Right. <laughs> no, she did. She, it's not it's not anything new. So like, girl. Um my cause I'm I'm obsessive about me being a, a she male, a he, she, a trainee. 
That's that's not you can't hit me with that. And then what did uh, Dory and Corey say from Paris is Burning? It's not a read if it's the truth. Right. We know she's trans. I mean, like right. You know, I'm, you know, I have titties at the top and dick at the bottom. You know, I'm like a she. -he. And full of transmission fluid. Full of it. <laughs> but what we didn't know was let me not do it. Well, wait a minute. Can, can I say that though, trans? Because I, I had the you, them, I had the them and days on me last week. I don't want the trans community on me this week. Don't do it because I'll be on your ass too. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. I don't want no problems. <laughs> don't don't. <laughs> but you can say transmission fluid to me. <laughs> <laughs> Faggy. Ah! <laughs> and I don't want the gay men all on my back because he's from Baltimore. Well, right. He, he's from Baltimore and they use the term Faggy there. Okay, Faggy. Faggy. Because I was in Baltimore and I was like, wait a minute. Okay. Faggy? Give it a Faggy. That's, that's Baltimore, D.C., Philly. <laughs> faggy is up there. That's that region. Now, since we're on the, on the topic of Faggies, let's get back to Suge Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I thought we were going to Miss Netta. No, we Go ahead. don't do that. Go ahead. So this is my thing, right? Mm -hmm. I think that it's old, it's tired, it's late. Now, do I believe any of these accusations? We got to understand that those men have lived lives. Mm -hmm. And those men have had money. Those men have had access. We've heard this countless times about Will Smith. This is my second time hearing this about Jamie Foxx. I got a Jamie Foxx story. Again. You know I used to live in L.A. Okay, well, this is my third time here. This is <laughs> Blame it on the booze. Got you feeling loose. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my allegedly signed. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> the, 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 yeah. Blame it on the uh, 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 alcohol. They always do. <laughs> <laughs> Adjust my microphone. <laughs> so, <laughs> he was doing a lot of stuttering. Really. Look, look. He was trying to get those words together, bitch. Girl, he was quite flummoxed. Okay. Wait a minute, Alexa. <laughs> hey, Alexa, what is flummoxed? Is she working Flummoxed today? is a state of being confused and bewildered. It indicates a state of being thoroughly confounded or perplexed. The word flummoxed is a verb, which means to confuse or bewilder someone. It implies a loss of direction or purpose, indicating a lack of clarity or understanding. By the way, you have a new notification. No. <laughs> he, he was definitely looking for direction. No, I don't want you to give me the notification. Because she said flummoxed. When they know what's at the door. Right. Well, he was definitely looking for direction. Because he got a little lost in that story. Unless was like, I'm going to tell all your business. Right. I was ready for him to land his plane. And just say no. But he never said no. He didn't say He I did mean, not. Are you sure? He never said no. He just I'm said. Certain. He didn't. He never. He never said no. And he didn't say yes. Craig, can we hear your Jamie Foxx story? So, yeah, once upon a time, there was a boy named Craig. And, <laughs> and I lived a long, 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 right. long, 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 right, 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 long, long mm -hmm, mm -hmm. time ago. So I was living in L.A. And Jamie Foxx has a home over there in Thousand Oaks. A what? A home. Not apartment? That's a compound. Oh, not apartment. Mm -mm. It's a home. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he had a lot of people that would just come over for parties and stuff. And so I have some friends. And um, they invited me over there to the... Hold on, let me put the allegedly sign up. No, you, this ain't alleged. This happened. Put that down. <laughs> oh, let me do this then. And it was blank also. Oh. <laughs> no, the blank is always means that we comply. <laughs> so he would have these... He would have these brunch... Well, his sister actually would have these brunches at his house. And what had happened was me and one of my friends went out to the brunch because my friend was good friends with his sister. And so we went out to this brunch, and it, like these people were cooking in his house. Like all of the people that were invited, it was like a potluck, and it was just like a bunch of people just randomly just walking around his house. Like there were people who had gotten hurt at his house, like like hurt, and almost filed lawsuits and stuff like that because there was no supervision. Long story short, Jamie emerges emerges hours later. Like the house is packed. And I'm sitting over to the side, minding my business. Huh? 
I'm sitting over to the side minding my business. And he comes up and he has a camera. And he's looking at me, he's taking pictures on his camera. So what you're saying is that basically he had, there are Polaroids of you. In, in he had some pictures of me somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was fully dressed. Yeah, but there are Polaroids of you in Jamie Foxx's a phone. I mean, not phone, but in his... Uh, and, and, and this is a house full of people. And I'm like, of all of the people in here, you standing right here in front of me taking pictures? Now, I don't know what happened with that camera or that film. But what does that mean, Craig? That's just your story. That's just my story. Now, I don't know what, listen, I don't know what he did with those pictures. I don't know what he did with those photos. I don't know if he looks at me periodically. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this was a long, long, long time ago. Long, but, long but I still look pretty much the same. I still look pretty much the same. Because, you know, I take my vitamins and stuff. <laughs> and I moisturize. <laughs> so that was your Jamie Foxx story that he took. He just walked up to you and started taking random photos. Just random pictures. Was he doing it to everyone at the party? No. So he. So basically, what he was trying to do. What I. What I'm learning from this because you've always been a faggy. <laughs> and so what I'm learning from this was that he was preparing himself for this story right here. Perhaps. <laughs> and he may be somewhere ejaculating. So he could say that this faggy right here is going to try to put me on first. <laughs> so let me take these pictures of this homosexual right now. Cause there's a there's a party full of people here, but this faggy's here, and I can just sense the messy on this faggy. There's a picture on my Facebook somewhere of me standing, you know, at the at his standing at his, over him at his staircase <laughs> in, his, in his at his house. Why are you being messy, Maddie? Oh, this is messy. I'm just telling you. And come on in the hot seat. You know I ain't lying. <laughs> I don't drink or do drugs. I'm practically allergic to Novocaine. <laughs> I'm practically allergic to Novocaine. Right. Um. <laughs> but Suge Knight stays in something. Cause that's he's keeping up a bunch of confusion. He, he trying to he trying to keep up activity while he in jail. Well, because you know, he bored. Yeah, bored. You know, and that is definitely the truth. He could definitely be. We'd like to have him on Fag Talk when he gets out. <laughs> Maybe we could do a little in jail kind of. Yeah, somebody send him the Zoom link to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Let him come on a fag talk by Zoom. <laughs> it's just he posted on his Twitter. You know. That, mm. But what do we believe about Will Smith? Believe or no? Both. What do we believe about Will Smith? Do we believe that Will Smith partakes in the arts of darkness? And the and the and the handling of wands. Do we think that he's in the wizardly world of Harry Potter? Wand battling. Do we think that he has rooms in the chamber of secrets and knows the ways of the sorcerer's stones? Would we like him to be freed from the prison of Azkaban? So that he could drink from the goblet. The fire. And then become the half blood prince that he is. So that he can indulge in the deathly hollow. <laughs> hmm? Is it true? All I know is, um, he and Dwayne Martin used to watch The Young and the Restless together. They used to get together and watch the stories. Craig, we... we, we the Bold and the Beautiful. We have, with, we have been with our grandmothers and things like that, Craig. We've watched these things. I was, I As was, the world turns. I was raised on General Hospital. One life to live. I was raised up on General Hospital. And, bitch, if we all out there that are of our age bracket don't know who Victor Newman is and Catherine D. Chancellor. Chancellor I don't know them people. Well, they didn't play it in Africa. I was just going to say, they must not have played this over in Africa. Because you definitely are in the age <laughs> Honey, you are definitely in here. You definitely have the ability to know who Catherine D. Chester is, who Victoria and Victor Newman is. They got the same storylines. They just changed the actors. Same characters, just changed the actors. 
Bitch, don't play games like that. <laughs> I can turn that shit on and right now. And you most definitely know who Erica Kane is, girl. Child. Is she still alive? Yes. <laughs> She's still on TV? Erica Kane is still amongst us. Uh. She's still working over there? I don't know if she's still working over there. Because I, <laughs> I had to cut those ties loose. Mm. That shit will have a hold on you that you'll be sitting there with another heterosexual man. You as a straight man will be sitting there with another heterosexual man because it'll be so embedded and embedded in you that you as a heterosexual man will be sitting there with your best closest friend watching Victor Newman, Catherine D. Chancellor, and Victoria, and they will fall off of the cliff every season and come back with a facelift every single season. <laughs> now, who are these heterosexual men that are wanting to together? We were talking about Will Smith. Oh, Will and Dwayne. <laughs> Do you have a Will Smith story, Craig? I don't. Okay, good. Well, then we don't know these things. I do not. But the street said, girl, you got you beat me to it. <laughs> I was I was reaching. <laughs> the street's been talking for years. Now I do have some Jada Pickett stories. She grew up around the corner from me. Okay, come on. We went to the same middle school, Fall Staff Middle School. Now she's a little older than me. Just a smidge. Than I. Let me get the grammar together. Just a smidge. Oh no, you could over here. You could be politically incorrect. <laughs> this is fact. So, so then, why were we arguing last week about them and they? No, they were arguing. We weren't. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were clear in our conversation. We were quite salient. <laughs> but Jada, um, she's the moonlight. Well, I, you know, I mean, I believe it. I believe that. There's a homosexual that I know. Uh-huh. Can he be reached? He can. He lives around on Nelson. <laughs> Nelson Street. And they were really good girlfriends. Hold on. Hold on, please. Can and he, so... Hold on before you make this case. Uh-huh. So, because you know, I, th let, let me tell you what I've learned about this. Because I was having a conversation with someone, with my attorneys. Uh-huh. And they were telling me, Madison, you have to always be very careful with the word allegedly. Uh-huh. Because... So where do I need to place it? We could place it here. Oh, okay. But, but this ain't really alleged either, because this can all be fact check. Because once you use the word allegedly, and you're drawn into court, mm -hmm. into the court system, uh -huh. you have to start providing your sources. Oh, I can. I just said his name. Well, I didn't say his name. I said what street he, he, he grew up on. She grew up on Price. So I can put this down? 21215 in Baltimore. So can I, I can put this you down? You can. Okay. <laughs> you can. You can. You can. You can. You can. Okay, I'll put this back up. <laughs> okay. Thanks. But yeah, so she has some, you know, some gay friends. And um, and she's the moonlight. Not, not just gay friends, but she's the what is Moonlight? Are you are you insinuating that she's a she's, dyke, or she has had dyke activities, she, she, uh, or lesbian? She'll get, uh, lesbian. She. Uh, so is it lesbian or dyke? Well, she ain't exactly a truck driver. <laughs> <laughs> she got a couple plaid, plaid shirts. Oh. You know those shirts that Brawny used to wear on the paper town. Oh she yeah. Got, oh. She got a couple of them plaid shirts. Uh, yikes. And so what had happened was when she made it, like when she went on to a different world and stuff, she stopped talking to him, the homosexual that grew up over there on Nelson. She stopped talking to him because she was trying to... You know how like Tyler Perry was really close to the stars of the century? Sophia and all of them, oh. Miss Sophia. Yeah. Uh, oh. Jasmine Bonet and Raquel Lord and Nicole Love Dupree and... Naisha Dupree. You know how Tyler used to go to the show and stuff? And he also came to the Craig the Writer's Tour show, right? He came to my stage play A Day in the Life. I write about it in my first book. Oh, Words really? never spoken. Yes, that's why he has a chip on his shoulder towards Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let that go a long time ago. <laughs> but one day he's going to call you. For what? <laughs> he's going to give you a role. I don't want a role. <laughs> <laughs> you might be a writer in the show. Is he going to not be writing? <laughs> I don't need his help. <laughs> I don't need his help. 
Craig, we need you to see someone about these traumas that you did. <laughs> that Tyler like, Perry has oh, hurt you. Somebody hurt you. Somebody hurt you. Somebody hurt I need to, I need to go and lay you down on the couch. Traumas. <laughs> You're dealing with these traumas, of these Tyler right. Perry traumas. And speaking of Tyler, now he had told me many years ago that part of this story is in words never spoken. So I'm not, no, we're not part of the story. The entire story is in this. So I'm only going to give you a part, a part of the story today. But he had come to my stage play. It was down at the 14th Street Playhouse down here in Atlanta. Uh-huh. And uh, uh, he had told me that, you know, he don't, he don't hire any other writers because when he was doing his plays and stuff, you know, he had, he had hired musicians and stuff to do the music. Mm-hmm. But then at the time, there was those DVDs. Remember they used to go to DVD? Mm-hmm. Well, he had said to me that the writer, or the musicians wanted to get royalties from the DVDs. Now, mind you, this was original music. They played the music, but he didn't want to play. He didn't want to pay them. Oh, oh. Wow. He, so he so he started writing all of the music himself. So that's why when you see the credits rolling, it says directed by, written by, harmonica played by, violin played by, boom, boom, microphone by Tyler Perry. <laughs> like that's why he does everything. That's oh. why it's so linear and one dimensional. But here's my thing that and I have poor to developed. Say. <laughs> Here's the thing that I'd like to say when we talk about Tyler Perry. I know that you're very hard and very critical on Tyler Perry. I want to say critical. But we, have to, we cannot say that you and I both have not sat with each other mm-hmm. and have said, bitch. Mm-hmm. Now, we got to take a page from that whole book. Yes, indeed. Now, when that documentary came out. I text you. Yes, and I actually sat there and I watched that document. That, that, that is a good doctor. What, what's it called? I don't remember. The, I really don't. I'm not even Baby, funny. Maxine's Baby. Yes, that's it. I have to tell you, I sat and I watched that Maxine's Baby, and I said, now this is a genius. No shit. <clears throat> and when you, and we were texting each other, and they said, you text, you was like, bitch, have you gotten into Maxine's Baby? Yes. I was like, now this is a motherfucking genius right here. Because he laid out how he did it. He laid out how he did it. And like, th- those were conversations that he and I had um, early on. In fact, my friend Angela. Somebody put, G- Durant said genius. Yes. Genius in marketing. Yes. That's what we meant. <laughs> and, and that's what we meant. Communication is our partner. Clarity, Clarity is our friend. friend. That's right. But he is most definitely yeah. a blueprint to follow. Yeah. Exactly. There is no like. There's no denying that. Like, <clears throat> like Don, Funky Daniva says, I can't tear you down, and and not find a way to in the same stance to build you up, up to That's lift right. you up. That's right. So we just because we might be in a critical standpoint or a critical stance of Tyler Perry mm-hmm. all the time, <laughs> forever and always, don't mean that we can't lift him up in the same breath. Because I I actually. Stand back and I sit back, and he is a person to be one admired. He is also a person one to to follow a blueprint if you are an independent artist yes. or an independent person. Like you know, <coughs> people can say the same about me. Like mm-hmm. like there's there's a lot of narratives that have been spent and created about me out there, and even and even when things go awry in my own camp mm-hmm. and stuff like that or whatever, and people take pieces from that and they spin those narratives. But bitch. You can't deny the fact that I was a street walker. <laughs> what were you, girl? I was a street fucking walker. Mm-hmm. I walked the soles out of the bottom of my fucking shoe. I folded my arms on the corner, stood on a wall with my back to the fucking wall, waiting on cars to come by me and motherfucking pick me up to give me 20 fucking dollars, bitch, to suck a dick, 40 to fuck, and 60 mm-hmm. for everything back then. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, and this is why I'm never in a space where I feel that where I'm never gonna not talk about it. Right. Can we get rid of Glenn Richards? Yes. Thanks. I don't give a fuck about Tasha K or her man. Uh, uh. Nobody's talking about that. or her kids. Y'all know I don't give a fuck. But we're at a space. I, we're, I'm at a space where I talk about that stuff because not because I'm braggadocious about it, but because even at me at a time can stand back and be like, yo, this shit happened. Like, I know where I was in my life. I know exactly where I was in my life. Mm-hmm. 
And so some of those things are to be studied. Tyler Perry is to be studied. Mm -hmm. Can I improve on shit? Hell the fuck yes. Yes, I can improve on shit. As can he. I, I was going to get there, but oh, okay. you didn't give me a chance. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> we're going to dissect that. Yeah, we are. Can I improve on things? Yes. Do I reach out for help amongst my friends? Yes. Do I know my strengths and weaknesses? Yes. That is a part of, of, of growth and becoming great, knowing your strengths, knowing yes. your weaknesses, yes. and also knowing where you need to pull in. I could run, excuse me, Craig and I both have the ability to do what we're doing right now alone. Mm -hmm. He can do it on his channel. I could do it on mine. <clears throat> Mo could go over there at work for goddamn pray for you say all day. I, I, we, we love each other. I give Mo a job. Mo enjoy, enjoys his work. I could, I could sit here run the switchboard. But why would, why should I do that when I can spread the wealth and also grow my business and grow my friends' business around me? Mm -hmm. So when I look at Tyler, when we're critical on things that we want Tyler Perry to do, we're critical. I, I can't speak for Craig. Because Craig has his own his own demons that he fights with, with Tyler Perry. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> when I'm having conversations about Tyler Perry and the things that I see, I have conversations based off of the things that I look at. Tyler, you're so am I. Yeah, but he's also from a rooted a different rooted place. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Tyler, I see that you are worth a billion dollars damn near. Right? No, he got a billion. A billion dollars. We don't. We want the wigs to be like. We, we want you to reinvest that in the wig quality. That's just the first of the problems. We, there, There's lighting. That's a problem. Continuity is a problem. Do you remember? Uh, why did I get married? I think it was part. Which one was it? I, maybe it was part two. It was the one where Janet Jackson. I've told this story before. It was the one where Janet Jackson walks in to the to Malik Yoba's job, and she put that cake is there, and the gay boy jumps out of the cake. Which one was that? Which you ever one that one? I think it was, that was part, part two. two? Yeah. Okay, so mark my words. Go back and look at it, unless they fixed it like they did Alicia Keys' vocals at the NFL at the at the Super Bowl. But when you when 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 that scene starts, the camera is down on her feet. You don't even know who's walking in yet. You see the camera at her feet. You see this woman's shoes, and she's walking into the building. She got on a pair of shoes, right? Let's just say they're some Christian Louboutins. I don't know what they are, but she got on a pair of shoes. She goes into the building. She does her scene. The gay boy jumps out the cake. She leaves out. When she's leaving out, you see a full body. She got on a completely different pair of shoes. It's just like that other show that was on Netflix. where they were sitting at the restaurant and the lady had Netflix. a different wig on. Every time they cut the camera to her, she had a different hairstyle. Yeah, that was Netflix. And then it all was just like, why don't you pay somebody for continuity? Not only that, there was also a part of the scene where there was a man eating at the Eat, restaurant right. and he had he was eating and nothing was on his fork that's what i'm trying to tell you so continuity is a problem lighting is a problem you wait you make way too much money <laughs> to for your shit to be looking all dark and shit like the young and the wrestlers in 1983 <laughs> but more than that sometimes i've seen the boom mic hanging down now yeah. tell me you ain't seen that yeah I, 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 but i yeah. think that because he in a rush not to just he's, he's in a hurry okay <laughs> but craig he also is very he is cheap <laughs> and craig hold on because i'm going to do something here uh -huh. i'm all of those things too yeah but we don't compromise on quality this mic was seven, uh, 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 hold on this mic was 71 dollars. yeah but the sound is fine if the sound was trash we fixed the sound but, but we also had to go in and do some buttons that we had unclicked and unchecked too. But he hasn't fixed those wigs yet. <laughs> oh, oh, now he Craig. got more money than me and you combined twice. Uh, 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 <laughs> more than twice. Fifty eleven times. <laughs> and you mean to tell me he can't get he can't get some fag to come in and do do her hair, do them those ladies' hair? If he ever give me a job, my hair gonna be snow because I'm bringing my own. Team. That's what I'm gonna say. Now, now, listen, don't let him do your hair. If he ever give me a job, he let Matt Madison. I, I I already have somebody. Ah, uh, 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 girl, because I'm gonna give him just that. He, he, uh, gonna, he gonna say Madison. Now, uh, my, uh, girl. now my pronouns are girl. <laughs> we ain't got no cameras and none of this. All comes in. Ah, uh, girl, Miss Thang, honey, Miss Mom. <laughs> You're not gonna do me. <laughs> Jameson is here, or Steven is here, doing my hair and my makeup. Ah! Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> he was like, I'm not paying for that. I'm not covering that. Ah, uh-uh. well, I got it. Because I'm going to make this do more for me than you think. Right. Oh, my God. But, 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 but the other thing, too, is what was that House of Pain, the first TV show that he had? Yeah. When he did that show, and I don't know if any of you may have paid attention to this, but remember when we watched the Cosby show? Uh-huh. When the Cosby show started, Rudy was, what, five? Excuse me. When that show went off the air, she was, she was grown. Same thing with all of the kids. Right. But when you look at House of Pain, those people never aged. And you know why? Because he filmed all 100 episodes in a matter of a few weeks. Now, he broke it up into seasons. Oh, really? Them people never grew up. Oh, snap. And it's just like, so, so in other words, it's like they never evolved. The characters never evolved. The actors never evolved because they're the same age, like from start <laughs> to finish. So it's just like, why don't you just take your time? Like, take your time. He, and then why you can't hire older people to play those older roles? Why are you playing? Why are you hiring young actors to play old people? Yeah, they're cheaper. It just kind of takes away from the integrity of the project, in my opinion. I do think that he is a, a, an artist, and he's pro- <clears throat> probably a lot critical he's about a what? an artist. What kind? <laughs> he's an artist. He paints. <laughs> he creates. You haven't looked at the credits. He creates. Girl, he does it all. <laughs> he creates. And so because he's an artist and he creates, you know, sometimes and, and a lot of these things could be his baby, Myrtle. It could be his baby, Craig. Come on. Like you're not gonna let somebody take your book that you that of your life, and you're not gonna let somebody do that. I had the wherewithal to hire an editor. <sighs> Is that light a little dim right there? Mm. <laughs> it's just fine after eating. Uh, <laughs> oh. But again, we can celebrate him in that from that motherfucking Maxine's, Maxine's baby. baby. I sat there and I watched that with emotions. I watched it with emotions. I watched it with admiration. Mm. I watched it with respect. For sure. I watched it with those things. For sure. I sat and watched it. And when you hit me, you was like, bitch. <laughs> I did. It, I it, said, you got to watch this. It lit a fire under us. It did. And here we are today with Fact Talk. Exactly. Like, no tea, no shade. For sure. This, this, all of this happened. She came up with the idea of Fact Talk sitting here saying, Mag, Ma, uh, Mo, we're just having a little Fact Talk. And then it just kind of just blossomed. But then I saw that that, that Ooh, documentary. Please put Yama, Yama, yeah, Yamiya. Is it Tyler Curry is a pure Katrina. <laughs> you go from why did I get married with a good starring cast and good quality wigs to fall from grace. Now see, and I agree with you. Um, uh, I think the first why did I get married was very was good. good. I, th- I enjoyed and that. My one. favorite by him, and I, I haven't watched anything else other than these two things. Why did I get married? Part it's, one. It's not fair. I watched why did I get married? Part one and part two, but I liked part one. And the family that praised with Alfre Woodard. Oh, and, the family um, that praised was, was that was my favorite thing by him. The family that praised was good. I also liked for colored girls. I did not, and I'm gonna tell you why. Go ahead though. I mean, tell me why you did because I there I, I liked. Because it. first of all, that lady who wrote uh, Push Push is the book based on that that Precious. Uh-huh. I mean, um, I'm sorry, <clears throat> I'm mixing up Push and Precious. Uh-huh. Why did I, what's the movie you just said? For Color Girls. Uh-huh. So it originated, originated from a play. He made it too literal. Like, the play had a lot of allegory. It had a lot of metaphors. It had a lot of all of these things, right? A lot of anecdotes. Baby, when I tell you Loretta Devine was standing at that man's front porch with that plant, she said, I'm not going to keep watering this plant. First of all, it was not supposed to be literal. She, wasn't, she was really talking figuratively about the relationship. relationship yeah. And she's standing there with this damn tiger plant, this snake plant. Like, what? What? He made it too literal, and I just didn't like it. I liked it. Okay. Oh, so you doing the bending? <laughs> I ain't hating. 
<laughs> Anything come yeah, for me? <laughs> Anything come for me? <laughs> well, so we, we we pivoted over to Tyler Perry because of the whatever. But to close this thing out with uh, with Jamie Fox, Will Smith, Suge Knight. Listen, I'm exhausted with the whole he gay, they gay. This is you know mm -hmm. being being this thing of like you know like reading a person. Like mm -hmm. okay, so what if they are? Just recently this week, I saw one of the rap guys. I don't know who he is, but I did Meek you see? Mills. Well, that's another rap guy there. Ooh. Oh, but we're gonna, we're gonna, oh, I know the way you're talking about. We're going to segue into that in, a, in just a second. Oh, okay. But the other rap guy, that was he said, yeah, yeah, I cracked the dude. Yeah, I, you want me to play the video? You got it. We got it. Yes. Yeah, let's do it. What that cranberry juice? Girl right here, Hold on, let me, I got to take this off the, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be one of those Saturday. Okay. I don't like. Uh, I don't uh, like niggas. We fucking the fuck around. I don't like niggas. I just tap that nigga. Your uh, your. Baby, ass. make a bitty hit her knees. Would you do it again? I ain't gonna lie. Me making my decision, nigga. That's like the same way you made decision to crack a bad bitch or like to crack a hoe. I made a decision to crack a nigga. Oh, mm. Gee, shut the fuck, Jay. Slap, bro. Hey, shit, yeah. money good. I'm oh, cracking shit. You're I'm JP. Oh, my God, I make a bitch. That's it. Is he from Detroit? I don't know where he's from. Is he from Detroit? Because that terminology sounds very Detroit ish. Is he from Detroit? Mm. Does anybody, has anybody ever heard of him? Well, <laughs> no, no, because even Kayla's like, <laughs> who the f is uh <laughs> well whether well whether we heard of him or not obviously the this people obviously the people Ooh, what's wrong what happened no is it you gotta pull it out on the wall is it it's plugged up no bro it's not oh shit girl the, the peace out <laughs> Girl, we drunk already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whether we have. Oh, heard... they say he's from Milwaukee. From Milwaukee, yeah. okay, somewhere up there. Close. It's very close, because it definitely gives it gave a Detroit, a Detroit dialect. Detroit. 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 Mm -hmm. The place where Aretha's from. Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> Aretha's definitely from Detroit. Yes, she is. <laughs> I don't need nobody sitting around me. And my man. And my man. Hey, y'all, ba. But <laughs> this is my thing, right? I've always said this, and I've said this countless times. Mm -hmm. He may not be the example, but that's a step in the right direction for me. I, I applaud him. I respect him. Not because he did the thing, but because he said he, he did the it. thing. He owned it. Because he said he did the thing and kept on moving. Because it's just like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do now? Either you're going to fuck me and suck my dick or you're not. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm really in a space to where I really wish that we had more men who keep getting jammed up, caught up. Listen, we see we had to have Dwight Howard forced. Mm. And Bobby Valentino. Well, no, he hasn't said it. Great, no. Girl, didn't that translator have him yes. on? But he never admitted but it, though. He has not admitted it. He has not admitted it. He has it, not yeah. admitted it, he Greg. Never, he has yeah. He has not admitted okay, it. Wait, it's the soda street so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a reluctantly clicking <laughs> time. He has not admitted it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. We have to go into the space where these men have admitted it. Okay, go ahead. He has not admitted it. <laughs> Okay, yes, blow your man. <laughs> Girl, let me move him over. <laughs> now, we, now mm -hmm. he has not admitted it. Okay. But we have caught him. We have seen the video footage <laughs> of him running and the trans girls running behind the head. You forgot your keys. I mean, Bill, Bill Clinton said that lady hadn't sucked his dick, but then DNA showed. He had not admitted it. But though. he didn't admit it, though. He didn't admit I mean, he, DNA show. He also said that he didn't smoke weed. He didn't inhale. I mean, but 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 that but that but that but that but that semen was on that lady's dress to this to this day, and she didn't even try to put it in a dry cleaner to this day. 
So I mean, and that's why this man's keys were still over there in those training in that tra- in that trainee's hands. <laughs> in that, who's in hands? that trainee's hands? In that, in that trans community? No, she no, said I that. said trainee. Oh, okay, that means she's training to be a okay. woman. Because girl, I don't need my inbox loaded. She, that means she's. That means she's a. I'm a trainee. <laughs> I'm still in training, right? A yeah. trainee. A tra- in training to be a woman. Yes. Okay, <laughs> but you're already a woman. I am, but that, but you know. <laughs> Wait, give me a paper towel. Wait, you're what? I am. <laughs> but, you know. Uh, just, I mean, give, just give me a half of a piece. But, it, but well, give me this. But according to the streets, I'm still a trainee. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When do you come out of training? Baby, How long I, is the training? Baby, I've been out. <laughs> baby, I got a PhD in being a woman. <laughs> and that's W H O A M A N. Woman. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, somebody said Young Buck. Oh, Mr. C. Now, Mr. C admitted it, though. Mr. C came forth and admitted it. And I remember me making that video, and we were sitting there talking about the things on the video, and I said, my exact words were, why are you out here apologizing to the streets? The only person that you need to have an apology for, for getting your dick sucked and sucking dick is your motherfucking wife. Mm -hmm. Because why are you out here apologizing to the streets? Because the streets is out here sucking more dick than you. So what is the reason that you're out here apologizing to niggas that's doing what you're doing or 10 times worse than what you're doing? At least you get your dick sucked. Or sucking dick. Some of these niggas is bent over the side of a trash compactor, getting their whole motherfucking uterus, uterus torn out and leaving their intestines <laughs> on the ground. You remember this, Maddie? <laughs> What's that? <Right>? Yes. <laughs> Some of you niggas out there holding light poles, getting lined up, getting fucked with masks on. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Girl, let me get my jerk planting chair. <laughs> I do want to correct one thing that I just saw in the comments. Somebody added Teddy Pendergrass in there. But I saw an interview, and I don't know that lady's name. Did you watch the documentary? Correct. That's what you said, you watched the documentary. Right, and I don't remember the name of it, but... I think um, her name was, uh, not Tracy, what was it, Tracy? I can't remember. I think her name was Tracy. But the the trans woman that was in, when when he got into that car accident, when he he became paralyzed, Mm She said that he was giving she, her a ride. She said he was giving her a ride. So her car had broken down or something had happened. Well, yeah. But, but she but but I mean, may, one could argue maybe she That's her truth. One could argue maybe she was protecting him. Da, 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 that's but, her truth. That's her truth, Craig. But sometimes the truth is has a lot of whole a lot of layers to it. Okay. Because I also watched in that same thing that he was rushing home to take his his girlfriend at the time home to give her a ride home. If you go back and watch, mm-hmm. did you not see it? He was rushing his girlfriend at the time home. He dropped her off first. I'm just telling you what that lady had said. <laughs> I know what she said, but I also watched the, the story. And I also watched what the girlfriend said and what she said. And then I, it was up to my own assumptions to put two and two together. And because I'm, because I'm a trainee <laughs> and I have had training in the arts of whoring, Prostitution sluts in the middle of the evening. I came to my own assumption. My own assumption does not make it facts and it does not make it real. My, I've had my similar experiences in these things where I was just getting a ride home while I was on the host road. But did they take you all the way home? No. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't Lyft and Uber. <laughs> did they take you home? This ain't Lyft and Uber. <laughs> no, I didn't make it all the way home. Not at that. I made it all the way home later after I was done. <laughs> and after he had finished. Well, after they had me. Hey, hey, hey. Because I had numerous. <laughs> they in its plural form. Right. I had numerous rides trying to get to the one destination. Oh, so they just came. But it, it just, you had numerous rides getting home. But for some reason, the car that I was in just couldn't finally get there. <laughs> we kept having pit stops along the way. And to all the non-binary people, in that instance, we were talking about multiple people. <laughs> That's why we said they. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my girl oh. I can't wait to get down to this other story wait, girl we're, we're making them wait right 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 put a little Ooh. sugar on your tongue yeah we're seething you right, here right right we're seething 
seething you mm-hmm. had. Put a little sugar on your the tongue. The seething you had. <laughs> and so I just want to say that I am, ex- I'm, I am happy that we are moving in a step in a direction where I'm hoping, which men are not, it's probably going to take another while. But but this new generation of men, mm. I've, I'm watching them wear nail polish. Yep. I'm watching them talk about how they're bisexual more. I'm watching them, you know, and it's because of the facts like us that have, <laughs> <laughs> that have opened the door. That have opened the doors of, 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 us, of, of us living very loud. Like, and, and that's why representation matters because when you can see yourself or some version of yourself, then you have the opportunity to actually live. I'd like to say that again. Say it again. When you can see yourself or some version of yourself, then it gives you an opportunity to actually live. Mm. Yes, indeed. Can I go back here? Well, how you want to use it? Explain to me what it is. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to whisper <laughs> like y'all didn't hear her. <laughs> she said, can I use that queen ass? <laughs> explain, explain to me what does it mean? <laughs> explain to me. And what does it mean again? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you, you know she was determined to use that word. I want to use, uh, uh, I wanna use it something. Honey, 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 she's going to have it in her lexicon by next week. Please believe. It's going to be a part of her lexicon next week. <laughs> She's gonna get that word. <laughs> I'd like to use it somewhere, please. <laughs> so let me ask oh. you, since, since you won't tell me. <laughs> Alexa. Oh. What does acquiesce mean? Oh my God. Aqueous is an adjective that describes something as being watery or made of water. No. She said, oh. I think I'm the you know, Aquarius. Right. Yeah, I think Alexa, that's what she said. What is the definition of acquiesce? Adjective aqueous is defined as watery or having the qualities Mm-mm. of water. Something that is aqueous is made Alexa, stop. So this means that she wanted to put it in the wrong sentence. Right, right, right. <laughs> Alexa, girl, just say you don't know. Yes. <laughs> Alexa ain't got that S- uh, HSBCU. <laughs> oh, my God. I just got real hot. Oh, it is getting warm in here. here. Oh. Is it? it? Okay, so it's not hey, just Miguel. No, it is getting warm. Yes. One moment, guys. Don't forget the tickets for Fag Talk are available now. We're starting a residency, residency I am. April 24th. I'm coming. You can visit oh, it's five o'clock. fagtalk.com. Or, are you leaving now? Or, you can use this. Or, you can use the QR code. You can scan this and get your tickets. There's a QR code for Madison's Perfume, but this one is the one for the Fag Talk tickets. If yes. You click on yes, that. I want you to pay so, go ahead and, and scan it don't, don't and get your tickets. Oh, man. Yes. So far right now, we're not come, we're not going out of state. You're going to have to come to Atlanta to to be a part of the uh, to experience the show. Oh yeah, okay, no problem. Here's the QR code, guys. I'm sorry, everyone. I do. Yeah. Hey Durant. Yeah, I did. I did do. I did do Atlanta. Okay. That's how. That's how it's pronounced. Ain't okay. It? Okay. Can you tell?
text me the total. Atlanta. It means to accept reluctantly, but without yeah. protest. <clears throat> he sure is loquacious today. <laughs> what is he on this phone bloviating about? <laughs> We're in the middle of a show. <laughs> he forgot all about the show. Right. <laughs> well, that sounds like about 1800. Okay, I'll post the uh, code for the perfume so you guys can uh, click on that or scan that. Yeah, that sounds like about this is the this is the code for the perfume. So go ahead, scan it. I'm not sure where this T-shirt came from. Somebody sent it to my PO box, okay. so I'm sorry. I don't know where this came from. Oh, I thought you did that. <clears throat> no. Oh snap. Acquiesce. A C Q U I E S C E. A C Q U I E S C E. Okay. Acquiesce. Right. <laughs> One moment, please. This is Miguel on the phone. He does the painting for our houses. <laughs> <laughs> Parts that, so add the other parts so that I can just have that tomorrow when you, when I come. What time? What time you coming tomorrow? Okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. Run that uh, uh, telling right. our stories trailer, please. Do what? Which one? The telling our stories. Oh. Okay. It's on my YouTube channel. Craig the writer. Is right <clears throat> here. Wait, did she delete? She deleted it. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> she deleted it. She deleted. Uh uh. She's up there. Oh wait, hold on. Oh wait, sorry. Oh no, sorry. I was in the wrong place. I was about to say. <laughs> okay. There it is. Okay, there it right is. There. Welcome to season two of Telling Our Stories, but this season is a little different. We're coming to you all the way from Paris, France. I decided to move to Paris briefly to learn the language. Now, while my plan was to immerse myself in French culture to learn the language, God had a bigger, brighter plan for this trip. This time around, I sit down with black, queer men and women across several sexual identities. Now make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss an episode. This is Telling Our Stories, the Paris edition. All right, y'all. I just had to get some money together over there, honey, because so, you know, because they, you know, I do have a reputation, honey, or or narrative spirit. But I don't pay, but I'm definitely <laughs> over there trying to. I'm definitely trying to work out a deal. And, and Maddie, before you continue, please, everybody, like like the video. Oh yeah, like the video, share it. You know, tell a friend, bring subscribe. a friend, subscribe. Yes. You know, do all of that. Do the things, honey. Because we should have a lot more so likes than what times. we have right now. Come on, y'all. We said it was forever. <laughs> Said I love it always with you. Ooh, do, do. Something's in Something in my heart always knew. I'd be lying here without you. On my own. Do, 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 do. Once again. Do, 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 do. One more time. Trade has said it would be easy. That's what she said. No. <laughs> in love, I believe in it. <laughs> 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 you better ring it up, bitch. You better ring, give it to me again. <laughs> <laughs> Patty LaBelle, take notes. Patty LaBelle, take notes. 
Patricia Holt. Take take notes. <laughs> <laughs> Patty LaBelle could never. Oh, she, don't do me. <laughs> Not any longer. Not any longer. Once upon a time she could. Oh yeah, that looks good. Baby, didn't they tear this up over there? Yeah, I knew he could do that. Ooh. That looks Ooh. good. Baby, they have torn that up. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we got a slide over there before you go home. Yeah, man. I can go over there. <laughs> That looks good. I'm on my own. Since we're speaking about being on our own, uh huh. <clears throat> we have details of a surgery. Oh no, 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 no. We're not gonna go into that just yet. We're gonna go, go right into Meek Mill. Oh, okay, okay. Girl, I feel like a kid on Christmas Eve, bitch. We just cannot get to the story that I'm ready to get to. So uh, basically, what happens here is that. You know, there you, there is actually a video. I'd like for you to put that picture back up while oh. you talk. Oh, please. okay. Uh, well, first of all, it all started with yeah. you know the whole thing with Diddy, his allegations. Well, later a video of Meek Mills at a, I get believe they were at a tennis court of him hopping up and down and Diddy in the background saying, "Yes, Daddy, work for it, Daddy." And Meek Mills is just enjoying the situation as it, it looks like he's enjoying the situation. And an old video comes up of him talking about. Um, losing a cellmate is like losing a girlfriend. <laughs> Craig, anything come for me? Anything come for me. <laughs> you think that's what that was over there in the cell saying? Was he like, anything come for me? It's fine. <laughs> or is it was, was he said, anything come in me? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, what he said, anything come in me. <laughs> Ladies, I try to tell y'all this. I, um, the bond between two males. Whether they come in she mail. Get my children out of here. Get my children out of here. Thank you all for watching the show today. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. God bless. Good night. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my God. I get my children. Get my children out of here. They better. They better. Cause they gonna either be in my maid. Would you like to be my maid? Would you like to be my maid? Your children are so clean. <laughs> Would you like to be my maid? <laughs> oh my God. I can't. Greg, please help me. Oh, wait, I'm about to fall. Don't do it. Wait, my ass is too. Hold on, wait. Oh my God. That meek is fine though. Great. That picture up there. Hold on. You want me to put it back real quick? Please. Hold on, okay, Greg, please wait. Go. I need y'all. I need y'all to give me a second, please, God. Let me put the picture while you please clean yourself. Put it back. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. I wanted to just lead in with love. Great. Move with meek meal out the fucking way. <laughs> I was trying to lead in this conversation with love. Ladies, I try to tell y'all. The bond between two males in any form, whether it's a he male or a fucking she male, it's one of those. There's a book in the Bible where we talk about. Was it David? I, I don't know. Somebody put the tell me the, which one of them, David and the, and the other man that he was that they was real. They was like this. The two men. <laughs> I loved him deeper than a brother. What's that book in the Bibles now? Do you know we not that kind of people? We <laughs> David and Jonathan, that's it. Oh, it's David and John. Oh, we got some Bible scholars in here. <laughs> there we go right there. Now the Bible even talks about this. All right. Come on, Bible scholars. The bonds between two meals, males. Whether it's a he male or a fucking she male. <laughs> Girl, they went to vacation Bible study. <laughs>
<laughs> Somebody said the hell if I know. <laughs> you can't even, a lot of you hoes can't even break your nigga up from his homeboy. Can't even break that up. It's a woman right now in love with a man that's in love with his homeboy. One, because he's actually, he's actually showing up in that space for him that he needs. <laughs> I'm going to let you have this one. <laughs> Showing up for him in that space that he needs. <clears throat> that's leading him behind, beside still waters. I'm sorry? That's leading him beside still waters. That has a rod and a staff that's comforting him. A rod and a what? And I'm telling y'all, it's a lot of people's Women's out there right now that can't shake and break. I've been telling y'all this for, for years, centuries, years that I've been online. Y'all worry about the, the, the fag, the transsexuals and things. It be them niggas homeboy. It be them niggas homeboy. That you can't peel them apart. You can't, they 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 like they like they like wallpaper. We and we talking about good wallpaper, <laughs> like this over there in my house. That ain't coming off the wall. That uh, that shit stuck mm, like that. Mm, you get a scrape, it'll come off. It, 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 that's what you gonna need. <laughs> <laughs> get you a good scraper. They in a, they in a man. A case. motherfucking nigga that'll go to jail for his home and throw your ass out of the street with your children. <laughs> They in a man case playing PlayStation. Ha! It's a different type of bond. Same thing when you women's get together. We ain't finna sit around and exclude you bitches. <laughs> especially, especially when y'all go to college. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I'm in a Spelman. <laughs> and don't you dare oh, join no sorority. <laughs> we know what y'all be sometimes doing to get into them sororities. <laughs> I ain't fooling nobody. That's why y'all can't tell us. <laughs> But it's all right for them, though. So we, mm -hmm. You know, that ain't the forbidden. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, we can't tell you what we do when we cross, when we hang and stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that, that's, 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 that ain't forbidden. What's forbidden? Put that back up there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to leave y'all to y'all own thoughts and understand. Because <laughs> we just... We just just found his Twitter page where he was following that damn man porn site. <laughs> with them big, the, the big ass black dicks going forth <laughs> in ministry over there with each other, sword fighting and shit. All that testosterone going on. He might all, be, that, all, that, all that good cum skeeting across dicks and shit. He might be doing research. Hey, okay, me too. <laughs> me too, Mo. <laughs> me motherfucking too. And I'm not judging him. <laughs> I, this stuff I've been preaching to the to the to the to the congregation for years, and ain't nobody want to hear me. Uh, Madison, you were trying to make everybody. You just made the man said. <laughs> oh, let me put it up for y'all. Losing a sale mate is like losing a girlfriend. Hi, yada bo sha and tattoo. Uh, I know it. I, I, I'm gonna I'm I'm test the waters, Craig, and then I'm gonna leave. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go on to the last subject. Cause we just we're gonna close that because I gotta get over here to this house. <laughs> Girl, that means we're gonna have some ro more rollover for the oh, next yeah. Right for the next show. <laughs> How many of you women right now can't pull your nigga from his homeboy? <laughs> yes. I wanna see if we got any can we, can you put one in the chat? Or even if you know a bitch that can't pull her nigga. From his homeboy. I, I, yes. I, I want to. Oh, we got some honest people out there. Hey! I, I, yes. We got some honest women out there. I like honesty. I'm, I'm shocked and surprised. I actually need 
30 seconds. Can I get 30 seconds, please? You may be granted. I, I am shocked and surprised. You know what, ladies? I I have to say, I'm I'm so I'm 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 so. Take your time, Pastor. I was speaking of taking my time, Pastor. Come on, Mo. I didn't know how to have the relationship. I didn't know, really, what a woman wanted. I've messed up more than I than I've had good. My past relationships were a sprinkling of everything. Men and women, I don't know how to do this. And because of that, when things get rough, I go back into my safe place, my music and my ministry. I want to lay down next to somebody that's going to be with me for the rest of my life. I really do. I miss the fact that I did not have the family unit that I could lay next to my spouse with my baby on my chest and be the quintessential dad that raises up a family like I saw in my dreams and I wanted in my heart. So never having a long-term relationship in my life and never being married, my thing is I chalked that up. I'm gonna probably be alone for the rest of my life as far as a mate is concerned. Happiness is something that's relative. I've got joy, joy is consistent. Happiness is based on what happens. But joy is a constant type of assurance that everything's going to be okay. Greg, anything? Oh, thank you. Oh, something did come for you. Something did come for me. <laughs> and for them too. <laughs> we had to let the men speak in on that. We had to let the men speak on all that. The difference between... Well, the, the, the similarities between both of those men, Donald McClurkin was a known homosexual. And he done washed it off in the blood of lamb, and he still struggled with that. The other man say, losing the cellmate is like losing a girl. like girlfriend. You put the two and two together. Teddy Pendergrass ran a real woman all the way down there to her house, dropped her off so he can take a, 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 a she-woman home, give her a ride because she was stranded walking. Come on now. But you know, my problem with Donnie is he had told them people that he fell down and got back up. He did. He did. You can fall down on the dick and get up off it. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it on numerous nights. I fell down on the dick and got up off it. How many nights? Numerous. <laughs> but my thing is, it's like, I can't even count them. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that has so many men convicted. You know what I mean? Like struggle, excuse me, struggling with their sexuality because we instill in them or the church instills in them. It just takes a, a the, the faith of a mustard seed. You know what I mean? You don't have enough faith. You're not, you know, and you got these people bobbing and weaving between the straight and gay worlds. He need to stop. <laughs> All them need to stop. But who else? We just saw one that said the girlfriend losing the... No, I'm, I'm, I'm still in the But just all world. of them. All of them, Craig. And come to the understanding that, again, I want to segue back to the show we had two days ago, three mm -hmm. days ago, where we said that when we come out of the vagina, we are conditioned to a set of rules and regulations. And anything against those rules and regulations of normalcy mm -hmm. is, is demonized. Mm -hmm. It's against God, mm -hmm. it's against the natural order. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Heterosexuality is the default. There is somebody out there right now that is denying themselves, their true soulmate, their true partner, and they fucking 511 women, mm. or they fucking 511 men. You feel me? Mm -hmm. and, they just, and they need to be with that one nigga or that one woman. But they done came through the vaginal channel and have where, girl, where? the vaginal channel and they have gotten a list of rules. <laughs> and those list of rules that they have gotten, they know that that shit don't feel right. Get back up again. And they would rather go through the rest of their life 
stating yep. that I would be alone for the rest of my life, yep. then go against the rules and regulations. Mm. I'm not doing it. When I stand before God, I'm going to say, God, you looked down on me when I was sucking them dicks, didn't you? You know I did. <laughs> you was looking at me when I was getting my dicks up, didn't you? <laughs> didn't you know that? Then you got me through all those nights of whoring. Then you protect me. You kept me. Then you give me money. Then you give me lessons in life. Mm. I'm still connected to you. You said that I was, you knew me before I was came through the womb when I was formed in my mother's womb. And you also said that you, if you know the hairs on my head, hey, y'all, about shit. Mm. Then you knew that I was going to be the way that I am. You knew that. You mm. could have put a stop to that from the beginning. Mm. But you took my life, you used my life, you blessed my life, and you also had me be a microphone for somebody out there or for people out there that are going, that don't want to go with the cold. Because you don't give a fuck about the cold. All you give a fuck <clears throat> is about is the relationship that you got with me. Mm. That's shut that's it. That's it. And that's that's all. it and that's all. Now we're going to go to the main part of our show. Oh, girl, I've been waiting for this part of the show. <clears throat> so we titled the show this evening. What's the title of the show, Greg? Living Your Best Living Life. Living Your Best Life. But wait, I want to start. Don't click on nothing yet, Mo. Okay. I want to click on. Where's that cartoon one? No, oh. before we start, go up, Mo. <laughs> Please, ladies and gentlemen, get your tickets for the April the twenty fourth show. Mm-hmm. Put up, put 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 that put that right there. Mm-hmm. Get your tickets for oh, the April twenty fourth. It's all right. It's gonna be all right. April twenty fourth show, the Maddie in the Morning show with the with the with the popular hot ass gossip segment, Fag Talk. Uh huh. We'll be loud, live, and in color for our first ever show at the residency. It's our first ever first night of our residency here in Atlanta. Get your tickets by clicking on this uh, by by going to the links in our bios or visit www.fagtalk.com. Or if you're watching this on your computer, hold your screen your thing up. Click on that. Get your motherfucking tickets, bitch. Mm-hmm. So you can come on out and we can have these. Because we're going to have some of these same conversations live with y'all. Well, somebody already said uh, one of them was already sold out. No, 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 no. He said, uh, oh, the tickets are already on sale? Yeah, they're on sale. Yeah, yeah they're on sale. Oh. They went on sale today. Yes. Now, the title of the show is Living Your Best Life. Yes, it is. Craig, I'm going to go ahead and give you this disclaimer that you didn't know was coming. Go ahead. There will be no Miss Netta slander. No, excuse me. Let me phrase this right. There will be no Miss Netta's identity slander. Hmm. Identity slander. Uh Uh-huh. Well, she said on the video the other day. Well, again, we're going to dissect that. Okay. This is the last segment of our show. Mm Mm-hmm. There will be no Miss Netta identity slander on the show. We, I'm not going to sit up here and allow you to lay Miss Netta to the, floor, to the floor like that because I feel like this. This is Miss Netta's opportunity. Hold on, Craig. I need you to listen very I'm hard. listening. I can multitask. But Mo can't because <laughs> right. I don't need you putting because I need you to, I need Mo to take this message out that, that Craig put up here. I'm going to take your computer from you. <laughs> we don't, what we're not going to do and I, I'm going to say this because I always play devil's advocate. Miss Netta is now getting the opportunity to you possibly see. live out what? That's all I was saying. What is it saying? Sale has ended for the tickets. The tickets is on sale right now. Yeah, but that's what some people, that's what somebody said they were Put saying. Put the thing out there again. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> is it for? Is it, is, did you put the one for the for Nashville? No, because that's the ticket. That's the only one that would tickets will be ended. Is the Nashville link? I changed it. Uh, so wait a minute. What is that? Is that the Nashville link? That is Nashville link. That's you, yeah. That's what. That's why I was saying that somebody said the tickets were already sold out. No, they're not sold out yet. No, I think that's why they thought it was because the Nashville tickets are still. Yeah, tell them they got to feast that down there to the city winery. Mm-hmm. 
text Trent. We'll have it by the time this show air back, it'll be fixed up because they probably just put the Nashville city, the, the Nashville link up there. What we what we're not gonna do, because this is Mrs. Netta's time to live her best life. Not just to live their best life, but this is probably a time in Miss Netta's life <clears throat> where they have the opportunity to get some of the things that they've always wanted to have done for them. And they're and they're leaning on their newfound fame and celebrity to make the things happen to them. We don't know what level of feelings or, or insecurities that, that Miss Netta had for, for theirself. You need me, are, are y'all there? Okay, I'm about to open the garage. No, the, you just, the door is, you can go to the door right there, which you go in, the, the right when you walk forward. <clears throat> no. No, no. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, you up. Um, I sent you a video of Miss Netta, uh, of the Miss Netta thing. What video you sent me of Miss Netta? Uh, just her uh, talking about what she calls oh. herself and her identity Motion and detected stuff like that. Side garage. Okay, well you put it in there? No, no, I, oh, I, I oh, sent oh. it to you so you could play it on your, on your phone. Okay. So we just sent it to me. Go ahead, Craig. Now that I done got that disclaimer out of the Girl, way. Girl, I don't even want to talk about it now. Bitch, yes, you do. I'm just saying this is Miss Netta's time for, for, for I, him. And that's fine. So go ahead. I agree. So go ahead. I want to. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I don't want to no more. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, because of the dis disclaimers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why you don't want to talk about it no more. <laughs> well, the streets was talking about Miss Netta. <laughs> so let's go off of what the streets were saying about Miss Netta. <laughs> now, we sat here and we watched him go, because goals done did me like that too, and I like goals. Shit, I need to go down there and get me some neck work, bitch, to get some of these chins and shit off of my motherfucking neck from over there at the damn goals, goddamn plastic <laughs> surgery. But... The, the streets have been so they have been tearing Miss Netta up, but Miss Netta opened themselves up to it. Let's look at the pictures. I didn't put the other one because it was her. Uh, it was I'm sorry. It was there. It was Miss Netta's backside, and I didn't want to put that on there, so I didn't put it up there. But it was. But it looks different. Yes, it, it does. got the line. It, you should have put that up there so we could see the change that done well, happen. I don't want YouTube to cut, you know, do a copyright or whatever on this. How thing. you gonna copyright? Well, on not it? copyright, but to to penalize you. I don't want them to penalize you. Well, we well, what, they could have penalized me from the front picture of Miss Nelda. You're right, but let's I, see the back because it's a different back. <laughs> it's a different motherfucking back. Hold on. Cause I'll, I'll have to get it. Cause I was, that's why I didn't put it in there, which was because. Oh, of that. you have to ask us for those executive decisions. Well, I was just trying. <laughs> I was just trying to protect your Chris, money. That's all. Your I, eyes. I was. Uh -huh. just, I was just trying to protect your money. That's all. Oh, my money gonna come. But I didn't want them to. And they not gonna do deduct. it. Cause I will definitely motherfucking de uh, scratch it off. <laughs> <laughs> but at the beginning. Trent. Um. Because when we look at it, and I'm looking at Miss Nelda, and Craig was like, girl. <laughs> I had so much to say. You still do. Go ahead. Girl, put that picture of that Bartlett pair back up. I mean, Miss Nelda. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Craig, she can't help the way she built, girl. <laughs> Miss Nelda can't help the way she built, girl. Why is Miss Netta hiding her titties? <laughs> no, Miss No. Miss Netta don't identify as, as a she. Or why is he hiding his titties? Does Miss Netta identify as a she as a he? Miss Netta said they okay, are well, the G. Me... <laughs> okay, so Miss Netta said that they're gay. Yes. He said Miss Netta said <laughs> Miss Netta is the G. 
you did, did you send it to me or Mo, you sent it to me? I need to hear Miss Netta say this out. Of, I sent it to you. I it's that you. one where, she, where she's where, standing at the kitchen. And she yeah, had a red, red. Yeah, I sent it to you. At the top. Like just be my biggest thing. So I, I don't be no disrespectful for for the gay community because I am in that community as well too. So I don't. That's not disrespectful and Take none of that may be. It's just channel. that I'm who I am or, or whatever. If I want to classify myself as uh, transsexual or whatever, that's my prerogative. But I just classify myself classify myself as being myself. And if y'all people that know me and hear my hometown, just like I read some people, they like. We don't even see you dressed like that unless we see you on social media or whatever. And now, I don't go to the, you like, oh, Miss Nana, you out in the public. Now, I'm not in the public of my hometown. I'm in the public where I'm Miss Nana and I'm, I'm portraying a whole image of, of another person because that's what it is. So, yeah, Miss Nana wear wigs, Miss Nana wear makeup, Miss Nana is a woman, you know. But me personally, Joe Robinson, I am a male. Ah, Shit. we got the, it. The part that I was playing. Okay. And see, this goes back to the pronoun. We got it. Now, your, your, your stage name is Miss Netta. We got it. But you going by... Miss Netta's a drag queen. Basically what Tyler Perry's doing. Right. But but Tyler Perry's not a part of the LBG. No, no, no. I'm talking about I what, what Miss Netta is doing. <laughs> No, I, but I just mean by what Miss Nettie is doing. No, 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 right here. I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hear you. My miracle ear was turned down. <laughs> In fact, it was switched to the off position. What did you just say? Tyler Perry's not a part of the LBGTQIA community. I thought that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you think you're trying to say. <laughs> I see what you think you're trying to say. Did y'all see that picture up there where Miss Netta hadn't tucked? But Miss Netta's not going to... Okay, I understand. Now that I'm hearing it from Miss Netta. And that little Tweety Bird was tweet, peeking out. Now that I'm hearing oh. it from Miss Netta. Now that I'm hearing it from Miss Netta. I got it. What'd you get? Miss Netta said that, that his name is Joe. Like, Sophia's name is Joe. <laughs> Got it. I'm I'm so clear with it now. No, no, Lashonda. Miss Netta's not confused. Miss Netta is extremely. Miss Miss Netta knows exactly who Miss Netta is. Can we please go to that other slide <laughs> as we're talking? Miss Netta, the internet was so cruel to Miss Netta. Mm -mm. Yeah, where, where, where them, where them, uh, them videos? Oh, the internet is so cruel, my God. I this was going up and down my my which, my Instagram. That one, this one. Well, what's wrong with you, baby? Nothing. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> where, where's that last one that I sent? Uh, where is it? it is? Craig Miss Netta gonna whoop your ass just like the <laughs> other one over there that be doing. They have like this. Uh, What's her uh, name? I can't remember. I live for her. Uh huh. Mo didn't put it in there, Craig. I, I got it right here. Well, why don't you? Press oh, hit it. Well, y'all were talking. Okay, that one. <laughs> they can still hear you. Craig Miss Netta getting all kind of money. That is fine. <laughs> but whoever dressed her is also dressing Jennifer Hudson. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and do we need to talk about that shape? That must have been pre BBL. Yes. Craig, they say they hope you can fight. <laughs> I'm, I'm from Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I understand now. I didn't at first, and I was definitely trying to be extremely respectful. Craig, I have to apologize to you. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Craig, I must apologize to you. But I, taking it upon myself 
to be very respect the respectful of people's identities because I want the I want the same courtesy awarded to me. And I agree, and that's why I choose to just call you by your name so I don't misgender anybody. I don't want to have any Freudian slips. So Miss Netta is the character. Well, Miss Netta's life is Joe. That's Netta's life. Netta's life is currently Joe. And Joe because I don't want to loop anybody else in this but it also makes me understand flame identity. Flame is he, she, we. Oh, I didn't he, know she hers was we also. Flame is flame's identity. She's a, she's a trans woman, but she also identifies as he, she, we. Oh. He get the money. I mean, he go to work, but he make the money. She spent however her thing is and and we something together. So she said that it all works for her. Okay. So with Miss Netta, it all works for Miss Netta. Got it. I'm, I'm, I got it now, Craig. I have to tell you I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Maddie's not above reproach. <laughs> it is okay. <laughs> I have to tell you that because I didn't know. I didn't have, had I seen this video before when someone says that they are they identify as male pronouns, but this is why I still ask. You know what your pronouns is is it he is because he can identify they can identify as a male and still have she and her pronoun that's true true and see and to avoid all of that hi miss natta <laughs> hi joe I, I i can circumnavigate all of that i understand well do you want to still see her i would like that okay because it definitely has changed the backside of Netta. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Charles got some work done, too. I, I see that, too. So uh, here we go. Let's go. Oh, oh shit. Music. Music. I could quickly do that, but. Yeah, quickly do that. <laughs> quickly do that. But I I saw there's a train. A one. The full change has come over me. Oh, change a wonderful change, a marvelous change. I'm so glad he changed me. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> mm. Oh, how wonderful change has come home. <laughs> I'd like to see the change once Mo cues this up. Yeah, you, you go to get it. Don't worry. That's what he said. But I'd like to really <laughs> see this change. And are we happy for Miss Netta? I mean, I'm, I'm happy. Are you happy for Miss Netta, Greg? And Charles? Happy, happy for what? In, in particular. I mean, I I think that they're in, in the pro, they're living their best their best life. They're leaning into their star. They're making their star do what it do for them. Oh yeah. I hope that they're you know planning for tomorrow. You know what I mean? Because like remember Sweet Brown. Ain't nobody got time for that. Right. And she's passed on now. But wait, she died. Yeah. No. They said she died. Craig, we need Is to Sweet Brown still living? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. No, I believe she passed. But my point is like plan for you know tomorrow, because this might end tomorrow. You know what I mean? I, like I, all this. I, I don't see it ending for them. Okay. I don't see it ending for them right now. 
Definitely not in the black sector. Because you know why I don't see an end for them in the black sector right now? It's because most, because. Somebody did say she died. She did? Not people died that never died before. <laughs> well, we'll come back with that. I don't yeah. know. Some of them are saying she died. Some of them say she Do is. you know which one is which, Mo? Yeah, I know which one is which. Okay, let's go. You can talk through it also. Okay. That, oh, shit. Oh. Charles got a four pack now. I mean, an eight pack. And they just got free promotion. Oh, hey. It's okay. Oh. They done did work for me too. Oh, okay. In a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> they said Google says she's still alive. Oh, okay. Somebody told me she was dead. People are saying she she passed September twenty twenty uh September thirtieth, twenty twenty two. Somebody literally what, told me this the other day. That's what somebody just Google. posted. I'd like to watch that video again. Okay, no problem. Here we go. From this to that. Goals is the miracle worker down there. Charles, Charles got. <laughs> I'm trying to see. <clears throat> okay, well for now we'll say she's still living. I don't I can't uh, Oh, they said she was. She was what? She was. I don't know if she's alive or not. Somebody said that lady died right here. I don't know. <laughs> they said, get my children out of here. <laughs> well, here's for me as and mine with Miss Netta. I know that they're going to have to really toughen their skin or con continue to keep their skin tight because as long as they're on this journey and as long as they are uh, in the public like that, people are definitely going to have, they're going to be scrutin scrutinizing everything, you know. I saw a video, though. Craig, I'm telling you, this uh -huh. is kind of why my heart is, goes, goes, goes out to Miss Netta. Mm -hmm. I saw a video where she was arguing with another content creator on TikTok. <clears throat> and she talked about her face. Mm-hmm. And she was telling the TikTok creator, like, I, I look at myself every day. I see myself every day. Like, you don't have to, like, I, I see this every day. I know that. She said, I know that my skin fucked up. I know my face fucked up. She's just what she said. I, yeah, I watched I that. that. You saw it, too. I did. And so I was in that, in that moment. I just was like, wow. Not that I didn't think that she had no feelings or nothing like that. But then when I see her getting all this new acquired fame and new acquired fame and fortune for herself and her husband. Mm. They married? Yeah. Netta and Charles. Yes. What's Charles' real name? It ain't Charles. I thought it was Charles. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, he got a stage name. Right. <laughs> Maybe the whole thing is a stage name. Maybe the whole thing is a setup. Maybe it's some shit Todd set up. To come to us with the bullshit. <laughs> to come to us with the bullshit. <laughs> Maybe it's a scheme that Todd set up. <laughs> oh, somebody said they think his name is Andre or Rolandis or something. Oh. Oh, so it's not. Rolandis. So is this an, is all of this a Ponzi scheme?
LeBron. Let me back this Buick up. LeBron. <laughs> Let me back this Buick up and get out of here. <laughs> so it's all of this a Ponzi scheme. Oh, they said his name is Rolandus. Are we being punked? Are y'all trying to provoke me? Because <laughs> you're not going to get me ugly. You, you're not going to make me get ugly on you're film. You're not going to make me get ugly on film. Because <laughs> what? Thank you, but say no more. <laughs> I'm going to watch Jackie's back. Listen here, I was looking for it the other night. They so, is this true though? Because somebody just put in the comments, he has a girlfriend. I said that the other week, and Madison said that was old. That was like a few years old. Well, that's what they they, they addressed it on Fox Soul when I was. Well, we don't know what to believe now. I mean, people. I mean, there people do fake relationships on social media to gain followers and to not Drea. Do we need to roll that over to the next segment as well? Okay. We here now. Hold on, let me go ahead. Let me get it ready. You want me to go ahead and post it? Might as well. Okay. Since we're talking about relationship and what's real and what's fake. <laughs> we do know that this is a real thing right here. <laughs> yeah, she pregnant. She is pregnant. 39 year old Drea Michelle says she's pregnant with 22 year old NBA player <laughs> Jalen Green's child. And her son is the same, same age. Same age as Jalen Green, yes. You speechless, Maddie? I have thoughts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Share. I am. <laughs> I'm a 47-year-old, excuse me, 46-year-old trans woman. Girl, no, you almost 47. No, I'm, I'm 46. <laughs> you are right at the threshold. I'm 46. You're right at the threshold. Girl, we're not in June. I'm 46. <laughs> I just turned 46. You are right on the cusp. You're almost 50, girl. We're you're, all... you're right at the precipice. Girl, I'm, I, girl I was born in, girl, in October, girl. You were born in May. Uh huh. You're almost there. I'm almost 48. You'll, you'll be 50 before me. Now, <laughs> <laughs> listen, girl. The leaning tree ain't always the first one to fall. <laughs> it don't matter. This one stands tall. But I just. And Craig. Uh huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to weave you into this too. Okay. I got my crochet and needle. You need it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your last partner was young too. Uh huh. And you're close to 50? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost two years ago. But in two years ago, you I were, was 46. You were still close to 50. <laughs> Actually, two years ago, I was 45. You were still close to 50, though. <laughs> and your point? I don't know what age your boyfriend was at the time. But he didn't have any children. And that's where I was going to go there. Is it because she has a kid that's the same age as her baby daddy now that we're, that we're angry? I mean, my thing is, it would have been okay if she would have just been fucking him, if we're going to excuse it. But, like, to have a kid with him, like, what, 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 what's, what is securing the lifespan? The, it's, it's the securing right. the bag. Right, because right. that was, relationship. It was, it was just all about securing the bag. Right, because that relationship probably doesn't really have a lot of bandwidth. You know what I'm I saying? Doubt in terms it. of la longevity. You know what I mean? So the question becomes do you want a sprinter or do you want a distant runner? Ooh. Ooh. Elaborate. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> do you want the relationship that's going to go? Hold and on. Go? They said Drea has her own money. But, but she, she don't have she that type. Have, she don't have his money. His, I'm sorry. She, she does not have change. his money. She sorry, does Kanisha, not have his money. Kanisha, I don't even know if your name Kanisha, but I got to tell you. <laughs> sorry, Kanisha. She does not have that boy's sorry, money. Sorry, Kanisha. Sorry. That man is that man is projected to make over two hundred million dollars. Let me. Can he? Can I get pregnant too? <laughs> I know his mother and father are sick. <laughs> Craig, happy with this other leg? You like older women? <laughs> <laughs> the little cage is seen. Craig, happy with this other leg? <laughs> 
<laughs> girl, now, girl, now with a little Cajun seasoning. <laughs> oh my god! Shit! Oh my god! Did anything come for me? Okay. <laughs> Shit! What are you talking about? And the reason I know this because, of course, you you know my phone always goes off for Sports Center, so I I follow him and he's the star player. He's basically the star player of his team. So by the time his she knew what she was doing. Yeah, by the time his recent contract goes up, he's going to be making about two hundred mil. I know his parents are sick, bitch, and then, especially his mama. Um, but can I ask a question though? Go ahead. You? So ah. if you guys don't have it, if you guys don't have an issue with the age, and I don't think I don't think you guys have ever had an issue with. I mean, we've dated young. Yes, but and the only way, here's what people here's here, here's here is a true fact. Uh huh. Uh -huh. The older, excuse me, the more seasoned that you get, the younger. Come on now. The desire for the flavor happens. Because I'm young and stay at my do, door. Do, be, I, I want you to understand that the, clear. The, 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 the more seasoned that you get, the more the flavor for the younger happens from the younger. You know, I got this little just for me so, down here on my chin, but so, listen. <laughs> so then do you guys have an issue? Do you guys have the issue with how people like Al Pacino and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio date then? Well, here we are with the roles reversed. Right. Those women that they're dating to marry, waiting on them to die. Yes, indeed. Just like she get, get, does what she knows how to do as a woman. And, and solidify her and her children. But the only difference with Leonardo DiCaprio is once you turn, I think, 25, he's done with you. Well, she might have push she might as well go on and push him before she turns 25. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, they said she used to babysit him? Now see. What? Oh, I didn't oh, know that. Yeah, now see. I didn't know that. Come on, don't do that. Because if y'all tell me Is that. Is that true? Please. That, that changed the whole playing field right there. Yeah, I'm not even going to post that because we don't need to. Because we're not uh, sure if it's true. Is that true? Because I don't know if that's true. Because I don't, I don't know, know her true. life like that. Is that true? But I do know she had a plan when she locked him up. Of course. Okay. When she hemmed him up. Anything come for me? Anything. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh, they say she, they, she used to babysit. What? Come on, hold honey. on, hold on, cause y'all y'all comments coming in real fast. Hold on. Wait, hold how on. old is um Drea? Like thirty nine, turning forty, I believe. So if to... she's forty and he's twenty two, she he'd have to pay child support to to her, right? Until yeah. until the kid turns eighteen, and she would be fifty eight, and she looks good. She does. No, no tea, no shade. No, no, no tea. She no looks shade. good. Oh. She does. Mm -hmm. Somebody said child play. She didn't even watch her own son. Oh, <laughs> baby, y'all be on these children people's ass. Like, <laughs> I'm over here don't know shit about this stuff, but I'm just talking about baby. Okay, that's her retirement plan, niece. Yep. Mm, 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 mm. All right. So I'd like to pose the question, and then we'll come back to this once, once, the, once we return back to the show. Right. And me and Dre are not the same age. She's older than me. Oh? Dre is older than me. Mo, how old are you again? 40. <laughs> I'm not 40. So. <laughs> how old is he again? 40. <laughs> 40, Right. I'm not 40. 40. So that means you 50 then. No, I'm, I'm 46. <laughs> Craig's 50. I'm 47. <laughs> I'll be 48 May 4th. I'll be 48 May 4th. Either way it goes, none of us in this room is that young. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. All of us in this room is not that young. Right. Okay. But. <sighs> mm. What age does it become? What age and what circumstance does it become predatory? That's the question I'd like to pose for us before we leave. At what age and what circumstance does it become predatory? 
I mean, he, true. he clearly is of age. He is of age. So I wouldn't say that it's predatory. And she's a night. She is a she is a very attractive woman. She is. And she's also in an industry where she where, where you know usually those basketball men. Two things those basketball and football men do: they date in the industry and yes. whores. <laughs> yes. And not only that, he's no, no. twenty-two, so he might have had her picture on his wall, well, right. for the longest. They date in the industry and whores. <laughs> because I've been both, <laughs> <laughs> and there's been a few girls that we we've traded stories about those men too. We've had conversations about them, like, girl, you, girl, he did that, girl. <laughs> but see, it's also like the lack of emotional maturity. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, like, what would they really talk about? You know what I'm saying? And and like, does he even have the capacity to be a to father. anchor her in a relationship? Like. She's 40, 39, 40. She knows what it's like to be 22. He has no clue what it, is, what it means to be, 20, to be 40. You know what I mean? So like, and I mean, and I don't care how mature you are or how self-sufficient you are financially, your age is always gonna show up. Yeah. Your age is always gonna show up. It may, it's not gonna show up in his finances because he has the money, but it's gonna show in his inability to be able to ground her, to be able to really speak to her in a in a mature kind of way, you know what I mean? Like it's all, the age, even in the way that they disagree and argue, it's going to show. It's going to show. Like uh, he he's not going to be able to have the uh, uh, conflict resolution skills of a forty year old. Now, okay, that might be true, but there are some forty year olds that doesn't have the conflict re resolution. That's of, true. Of a forty year old. Absolutely. You're right. You're right. Absolutely. You're right. Absolutely. But I'm just saying, you know, she definitely ain't going to get that from him. And because he's 22. Well, Craig, I don't think that she went in the door thinking any of that. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think that she went in the door thinking, honey, that she was, she was, she was doing a supermarket sweep. <laughs> she was supermarket sweeping her a nigga and putting him in the checkout line and going on about her business. Right. Because he's worth what? In the next thing, 200 million? Yes. I do the same. <laughs> Help me with this other leg. Girl. Help me with this other leg. Help me. <laughs> you know, I mean, so. But don't you, but don't you, don't you guys think that this also will affect the? Because I don't see this as a long term relationship, just like you said. No. So the, 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 the only part of this that's going to be a long term relationship is if the baby. And that's what I'm thinking about. What 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 about the baby? Because if they're not together, then that means the dad is not going to be around. Constantly. Or the mom He's a may not, Or the mom may not be around. You're right. But the money will be. But you need more than money just for sure, a child, no, though. Don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't, bro. Maddie. No, you don't, Marlo. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Really? I, I turned out just fine. You <laughs> <laughs> think come for me? Okay. But the other thing too is. Um, Maybe she doesn't even care to be building with him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe, and I don't know this, but like what if she has had her fill with love? Like what if she's at the point now where she's like, child, or, or come on, let's be, let's, let's, we're, we're, Craig and I both are playing devil's advocate here. What if the men in her age bracket are looking for 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 women in his age bracket? Hello, because that's, that that's does most happen. likely that's most likely what's happening. The because. men in her, her age bracket are looking for women in his age bracket. So we can't take that out of the equation. That's true. Because that happens. Because that I, I was listening to uh some basketball players that said they know. Drea, and they they were basically saying that yeah, the we guy, had the, the basketball players that she was in the backseat sucking dick. Oh yeah, yeah. Whoa, hold on, let's play. <laughs> <laughs> Who dick you sucking? Uh, Gilbert, they, that's that, that's allegedly that, that's well, that DMX. Who dick you? The sucking? streets say it was the streets say it was Gilbert Arenas. It was right before it went into. All I want is you. <laughs> Yeah, they only knew. But like I was shocked too though. Like like that day when I was riding home with Philly in the car, yeah. 
I don't know if I can tell that story. If you want me to tell that story. No, nah, no, nah, she's a mother now. <laughs> she's a mother now. Yeah, we can't do that. Because that day, was, that day changed my life. I ain't going to lie. That, that day changed my life. That's when Spikey P was like, okay, man, I got this is what NBA is about. I mean, hey, listen. I, hey, NBA, hey, listen. I'll let you know this is. Yeah. I mean, I'm riding in a car. He in the back seat. <laughs> I turned my head, this nigga against it. Huh? Nah, nah. <laughs> what was you doing in that back seat, Gil? Huh? What was you doing in that back seat? You went to the strip club. Uh, for Pregnant. Me. I'm telling you, men gossip more than women. Gossip more than women. Now they will be now bitch would be dead wrong if they if they rounded up all the girls and the girls be in saying how they was in the back seat getting their dick sucked by them. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> bitch would be dead wrong. Right, right. Exactly. I'm not saying them, but them niggas like that'll be dead wrong if the girls got together and did a tell all on them uh -huh. and talk about how they been in the back seat sucking dick too. Bobby Valentino, watch out. Girl, we ain't talking about her. We they know about them children. We talk about the ones that they don't know about. Exactly. <laughs> that the rest of us do when we say anything come for, for me. me. You they got to stop that stuff, girl. I'm not going to make it to my class tonight. It's already started. <laughs> they, said, they said, Maddie, don't you start no mess. I'm not, but I'm just saying. It's it, more, it's them, it's it's more them in the... I done had more NFL, NBA, all them damn teams, them damn sports. She said teams. Well, whatever the fuck they is. <laughs> I done had more motherfucking experience. I learned how to... I learned the sports from them niggas. <laughs> but when you said teams, do you know how many teams there are? In this do, you, do you know me? <laughs> I'm not like those other ones. <laughs> those other ones be groupies and run, bitch. I was the big dick bitch for many, 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 many motherfucking years, bitch. Many years. I never was a girl that was on the motherfucking top line saying, girl, I did this, I did that, I did this, because that, that, that's not none of their business. I always want them to underestimate me. That, yes, I'm the fat one, the fat, on a bad body, on the tractor with, bitch. But guess what? I was in my home. Right. <laughs> and they were where? In their <laughs> I bought a home. Okay. I have I haven't worked since I was twenty three years old. I'm forty six. That's twenty. I haven't years. had a job since I was twenty three years old. Twenty three. Mm. So they could they could whoop that up all day. Don't don't nobody because I see. Some, don't nobody want a fat bitch and don't nobody want to be keep go ahead on and believe that. And while all those girls out there going to get them sex changes and shit like that, I told y'all the other day, I'm giving y'all $50 towards it. Cause I want to be the last one with a dick. <laughs> Cause I know how the shit go. <laughs> Run your goddamn ass down there and get your sex change. Here go $50 on it. <laughs> You want to be the only one left? I'm the only one? <laughs> the only one. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. <laughs> the tickets are available at City Winery. Yes, they are. Dot com. We're going to get the, I'll get the um, Fact Talk um, okay. ticket yeah. link. Yeah, we're going to have to because it got it. We had the old one up there, but y'all go to City Winery right now. Yeah. But anyway. I love y'all. We'll be back in a couple of days. I got to run over here to the house. They've been calling and texting me, honey. We had to do a break in the middle of the show. <laughs> Miguel was talking Spanish in my ear. Craig was like, girl, what is he saying? Anything come for me. Right. Get my children out of here. All that long well, you do speak Spanish, man. I do. <laughs> I, Miguel, that Miguel I ain't talk. even talked about that league. <laughs> that I, ain't, I haven't even talked about the international league. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> Baby, that Miguel can talk. <laughs> Don't get me started. That's why you've been around the world. And I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, yeah, 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 nigga. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Somebody say, go. <laughs> bitty, bitty, bum, bum. Hey. <sighs> I felt like a Spanish in this hair. <laughs> I felt like a Puerto Rican, honey. Rican. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, I love y'all very much. Thank y'all for tuning in to Fag Talk. Bye, guys. Bye, guys, for now. 
subscribe. Subscribe yes. to Fag Talk so that y'all can keep up when we be. With the, That's we, right. We got to find us another. Um, what is it, Craig? We going to be looking for? What? Somebody handled the website. I'm so excited about the website. Web designer. Yeah, we got to yes. get us another. Somebody, we need a new web designer. A web that's going to take care of that for us. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to be on time. And that's going to do our job. And when, we, and when they invoice <clears throat> us and we pay on time, that we have our items. Because <laughs> I hate to have to hold, withhold somebody's pay. Because, Craig, we'll do it. I sure did. I'm just not going to pay you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> The views and opinions expressed on this program is just that. Views and opinions. Don't take any of it serious. But I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, everybody, this is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Shh, quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one, -on -one, exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there, me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton and you'll be glad you did. I promise. This has been a T.S. Madison and RDE Multimedia Group presentation. Hey guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Ciao. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is, right there. You ain't right gonna there. have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. You met me as me. Yes. Yes. Now this hair looks delicious on you. Yes. This is 99 J. This is 99 J. This is 99 J. This 99J. This 99J. Yes! Do you have what it takes to be a fag? Oh, honey. You know you do. We all do. I'm most definitely a popular, hot ass gossiper. Oh, honey. I was born a fag. And so are you. I'm rich. Ooh. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your pardon. I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your pardon. I'm rich. Uh, uh, say it again. I am rich. You're what? That's right, girl. T H A G. Popular, hot ass, gossip. Hey, that's right. Yes. Yes. I mean, sister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. oh, hey. And that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Not the other one. But that counts. Hey girl, what is this plum burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> 99J. Yes! Thank you. You met me as, as me. Yes. yes. Girl, this hair looks delicious on you. Yes! This is 99J. 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 Yes! Girl, what is this plum burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> 99J. Yes! Thank you. I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your pardon. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your pardon.
I'm rich. I, I, I say it again. I am rich. You're what? Okay.